Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Byrne, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. And of course, we have to talk about it. Lines of credit, check. Stop market or real estate investing, question. And welcome. Stop struggling now, gear, check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And I have missed you because as most of you know, I could not do the Friday night live stream. I was flying over and yes, it's officially done. My mother passed away, as a lot of you know, she was buried yesterday and we had a wonderful funeral here in the ATL. So I wanna thank everybody for their well wishes, condolences and all of that, that really helped last week. And we have a new adventure ahead of us. So today we have to talk about it. Lines of credit, stock market, or real estate investing, that's a question. So therefore we must do this. I'm about to tell you what this is, but we still have lines of credit, stock market, and real estate investing to do. And I have a surprise for you, ladies and gentlemen, something that came out with if This is another Punta Cana development. I know. Some of you by now might be going yawning a bit on this Puna Kana property, but this one right here, I'm just going to give you the number. How about a one bedroom, one bath, town home? Hear me clearly $50,000 in Puna Kana. That's right. We're going to get into some of that tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So stay tuned. Let me see who's in the house first. It looks like we have Miguel, Army retired veteran with the icon next to his name. Thank you so much for being here once again. Icon means he's a member of the channel. So I want to thank you for being here in the SSN Nation Money Making Mondays live stream. We talk about making money too, ladies and gentlemen. All right. God bless all. And let's get that passive income going. That's right. We got to get it going, ladies and gentlemen. 2022 is passive income. And by the way, Miguel, Mr. Puna Kana has properties there. So in about two, well, no, a year and a half to two years, he's going to have properties where he's earning passive income on a weekly basis. It's going to be beautiful. But anyhow, let's see what else he's talking about tonight. Puna Kana is waiting for us all. That's right. So I'm on point tonight. That $50,000 one bedroom, one bath, two story condo. Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it exists. Hold on. Let me give you a teaser. Let me give you a teaser first. Hold on. Let's get a teaser going. Let me see where I can. Uh, let me see if I loaded something up. Oh, yes, I did load it up. Here we go. So you guys can see right here. I'm not faking. You can see it on the screen. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Oh, I forgot. Jacuzzi included. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about that tonight. But first, we got to talk about a few other things and look who else is in the house. We got to see who else is in the house tonight as well. So I just want to start this off so you guys know we don't lie around here. It's real in the field. And oh, by the way, Yes, I do know the numbers. How about this? I'm going to go in reverse. Normally, I tell you the down payment. How about this? $682 per month. I think most people can afford that, can't you? We'll talk about that later, ladies and gentlemen. But first, we have to find out who else is in the house tonight. We have, oh my, Mr. Cools in the house. Laverne Penix, another investor in the Puna Kana area. That's right. He's looking for that passive income down the line as well for the next 20, 30 years. And he says, hello, SSN Nation, and welcome 
to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live streams. And he says his tagline, let's make some money. That's what we're trying to do around here. And we make money many different ways, ladies and gentlemen. And in case you're new around here, please smash that like button because we're going to talk about lines of credit. We're going to talk about stock market and real estate investing and what you must do this. And then we're going to talk about ways to make the money. All right. Because we're going to need more money. You guys know that, right? They're going to raise interest rates in about T minus 60 days. All right. Robbie D solutions. Is this DJ Robbie D in the house from Philly? He has the icon next to his name. It must be the man. And he says, what's up, SSN Nation? Let's get it. And that also means welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. And he has the icon. I have to mention that again. That means he's a member of the channel. That means he joined. That means he's a supporter. A subscriber is a little different. Subscribers don't get the icons next to their name. All right. Julio or Julio Torres, welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. I appreciate you being here. Hi, glad to be here. We are welcome that you're here. Thank you for being here. And so we go to the next man up is James Way. He's in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream with the icon next to his name. And he says, 50,000. Yes, the rent is too damn high to miss that. Yes, James Way. Exactly what I'm thinking because I'm thinking 50 grand. Are you serious? $3,500 down, I believe, is what they want. And then $682 a month, something crazy like that. I was like, oh my goodness, hold up a minute. Could now I join Miguel? Could I now join Mr. De La Cruz? Does that mean I can join uh, another person? I can't remember their name who has three units in Puna Cana. Hell yeah. All right. Victor Marrero is in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. And he has the icon next to his name. And he brings his tagline, ladies and gentlemen. He has it. Hi, all. Let's do this. Welcome. Victor Marrero, you know, I couldn't get this information today ready for that Orlando property because I know the prices. I thank you for sending that to me. We're going to talk about this on Wednesday night live stream. So ladies and gentlemen, don't miss Wednesday night live stream because we're going to be talking about how you can invest in some property that involves somewhat Margaritaville, but it's Embassy Suites, Sunset Walk and how we're going to be able to get into this property. I don't know yet, but I'm going to find out by Wednesday. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. And hell, we have Maria Barnes is in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. Another investor in the Puna Cana area and partner. And I don't know relationship, but I'm going to say partner relations with Mr. Cool. So now Maria Barnes, unfortunately, or fortunately, you're going to have to be titled Miss Cool or Miss Cool. That's what I'm going to have to deem you because you're with Mr. Cool. So there we have it. You know, I'm big on nicknames. All right. Good evening, SSN Nation. How is everyone doing? We're doing fine. Hopefully you're doing fine and well. All right. Let's see a lot of, oh my, we have Joe Galindo in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. And he says, life is good, brother. You got this. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Joe Galindo. Yes, life is good and you got to make it good, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let anybody stop you from making it good. Some of you are out here working your behinds off going, hey, I have to miss out because my boss says I have to work overtime. Hey. I got to miss out because we got a business meeting or we have a business party. I'm sorry. You have to miss out. You can't go mandatory overtime for the next two months. Ladies and gentlemen, life is passing you by. You want to make sure that you're having some fun, 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 fun. Cameo, not cameo, 
Confunction, sorry. DJ Robbie D was going to correct me because he knows who Confunction is. And when I say fun, 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 he knows what I'm talking about. Yes, it's DJ Robbie D is Robbie D Solutions. I had a feeling it was. Nobody's going to take the moniker, I'm sure. Now, let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen. Lines of credit, stock market, or real estate investing. You guys tell me, what do you think is more important? If there is such a thing as more important amongst these items I'm talking about, lines of credit or credit, stock market, or real estate investing, you tell me. A lot of you, and I know what Marrero's going to say. I know what he's going to say. So, Marrero, you don't have to answer this question. I want to know what other people are going to say because the SSN Nation way is the answer. And you guys don't know what the answer is yet. But here's the thing. After you get your line of credit, after you get the stock market, you're investing in that. After you're getting the real estate, now what? Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you know, my mother passed away. And as you may not know, even though I'm her son, I have been telling my mom and my father for 30 plus years, please get everything in a trust. Well, because my mom is like, let's call it 1930s, 1940s, 1950s, 1960s, being a minority in America, black woman, they, for some reason, do not think that they need anything but a will. Well, see, therein lies a problem. Because, see, wills can be contested, ladies and gentlemen. You must, if you have lines of credit and you turned around and bought stocks, you turned around and bought real estate, you turned around and bought cars, you turned around and bought all this stuff, and you did not put it in a trust who it directly goes to, then if somebody disagrees, now you have a will, and now people can say, I don't like that, and we're going to probate. Probate goes to the state. State's going to appoint or assign a trustee. They're going to say, if you guys can't agree, we're just going to liquidate your stuff. And by the way, when we liquidate your stuff, we're going to take a hefty fee. And you're going to need attorneys because none of y'all are attorneys that can represent this situation in probate. So, you know, the attorneys, they need 10 to 15, $25,000. And each of you might need an attorney because, you know, you don't agree on anything. So you're going to have to go get your attorney. Guess what happens once everything is sold or you come to an arrangement? You have state fees, attorney fees. And when they approach a few hundred thousand dollars, so let's just say your estate could be gone. So while you're out here doing the damn thing, working hard, accumulating your homes, your houses, your cars, your boats, your luxury second homes and third homes or whatever, you need to put those in the trust, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, I think I'm a, it's time for me to bring Darcy on again. So Darcy handles trust. I'm going to have her on probably, maybe we'll do it next Monday. Maybe we'll do it Friday, but one of these live streams over in the next seven days, I'm going to have her on and she's going to talk about trust. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you must do now. All right. So I'm just saying it. Get it up right. Get it on the right track. And you need one, too, because if you want something to go down after you pass away and make it nice and easy on your family, then just put it down in a trust and let it roll that way. All right. And by the way, you can control the trust yourself as being the the uh, trustee um, until you pass away, you know. So just saying, you guys can find all this in the next seven days. Watch for the live stream. Darcy will be on. We'll talk about it. All right. Don't leave without one. You getting it? All right. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. First up, if you like what I'm talking about so far, please subscribe to the channel. Click the all notification bell. And I was trying to think of some other things that I might have added, because if anybody just joined us, I want to throw this down once again. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is. There you have it. What do you see on this screen? 
I kind of like that $50,000 for a one bedroom. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is let me know who saw the trailer. Did anybody see the trailer? Did anybody get notifications from YouTube about tonight's live stream? I did not send out an email simply because I was still catching up and I couldn't send out an email to let people know that the live stream was going on. All right. So let me know. All right. Vanessa Kama Gates in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. And she has the icon next to her name. Thank you so much. And she says, hey, boss and SSN fam, see what happened to Win Wendy Williams money? No, I did not actually. I didn't know. I don't know. So I'm not up on uh, Wendy Williams and what happened with her. She was married. I do know that. She got divorced. I do know that. That probably means she probably was the breadwinner and she probably had to pay it off. Ah, did she take him back? I don't remember. But anyhow, uh, Julio Torres, that is crucial info on trust. That's right, Julio Torres. Thank you very much for saying that. We've talked about it several times before. But actually going to do the trust? Hell, you guys can simply do this. You can go to LegalZoom.com, pay $300. They'll send you some trust papers. Then you tell it. It's a business. So think of a trust as a business. It has its own EIN number. You have to be the trustee of it in some cases. And that means you go down and open a bank account for your trust. You also, when you make money, the trust is making money. So if you make money, you have it sent to the trust. The trust has a check, debit. They could have checking account, checking um, checking account, they do. So you could actually have checks. You can have a debit card. You pay it just like it's a separate entity. You are the trustee. You get to say, hey, pay this, do this. You direct it. But everything goes inside of it. So if you have real estate, that can go inside. Cars, that can go inside. Any baseball cards, whatever. You put it inside. It's protected. So if you pass away, you already have it directed. This is where it goes. You don't have to go to probate. You bypass. It's an entity. You're getting it yet, ladies and gentlemen. We've talked about this before. All right. Say what? Now 50K? Vanessa Comagate? Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. You see it. I had to bring this to you right now tonight because this is awesome, right? $50,000 for a one bedroom townhouse. <laughs> I don't know how much a two bedroom, but apparently there's a two bedroom too. And I haven't gotten that information, but there is something that I was working on. So I got to do something real quick. So what I'm going to do is you guys saw one of the trailers. I'm going to have to do another trailer so I can go look up because I have the PDF. You know, I have the PDF, even though I'm going ahead of the real estate investing instead of the lines of credit. We're going to talk about that in a second. But thank you, James Way, for letting me know. IBE is in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. It's nice to see you again. Good evening, everyone. Good evening to you. Yes, got the YouTube notification and the trailer. Oh, my goodness. Victor Marrero's getting both of them. I believe that's a record two live streams in a row. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Wells Fargo froze her account. Hey. <laughs> Vanessa Comagate, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Wendy Williams got her accounts frozen by Wells Fargo. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't know that, but you guys who were in the SSN Nation, I showed you where banks were taking people's money. I showed you. Here we are. Now we have a person high profile. Their money's being stolen. I mean, frozen. I'm sorry. Their money's being frozen. Did we not say this was not going to happen? Actually, it's already been happening, but for some reason, the news won't tell people. And you know why the news won't tell people? Because everybody and their grandma would be running down to the bank going, I'm taking my money out. They don't give me interest anyhow. So why even keep money in a bank? Liabilities is keeping money in a bank. That's right. Here we go. Wendy is currently suing Wells Fargo to get access to her account. Crazy. I told you, ladies and gentlemen, SSN Nation members know we've talked about this over the years. I've shown articles. I've shown the facts that this is happening. 
Banks have been closing and they've been keeping it. Shh, don't tell anybody. About three months ago, I went down the list showing that banks are closing. See, ladies and gentlemen, it's not a pipe dream. And ladies and gentlemen, remember when I said America's a third world country? Exhibit Wendy Williams. Exhibit American citizens having their monies writing checks and putting them in bank accounts. And all of a sudden, that $30,000 cashier check is gone. Bank of America did that to another man just in the last two months. The banker said Wendy wasn't of sound mind, so she froze her account. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is hilarious, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you got to start getting your assets together, ladies and gentlemen. Lines of credit. You, you're going to use credit, ladies and gentlemen, not for liabilities. Okay? You're not supposed to use your credit. You have a good credit history. You go down and buy a damn car. The anomaly of car, used cars going up in value, this is just BS right now. All right? Sooner or later, the market's going to correct. Sooner or later, a car's going to lose like 20 to 30% of its value as soon as you drive it off the lot. Then you're paying six, seven, eight. Hell, oh, you bought a Lamborghini. You want to pay a 10-year note. All right? For what? For what? It doesn't make you any money. So you could have used that same down payment, that same money, and you could have said, I want a $50,000 condo in the Dominican Republic, paid free and clear instead of a Lambo. Right. Uh, you know, instead of giving 60, 70, 90,000 down for a Lambo, you know, you could have just bought property that gives you money for the rest of your life. Instead of going down in value and you're going to have to sell sooner or later because you're not going to pay no damn $10,000 to repair a vehicle. After the warranty runs out, let's get real. All right, let's keep it moving. Curtis Davis is in the house. Mr. Financial is here with the icon next to his name. And he has his tagline, good evening, SSN family. And he says, always be making money, which is the A-B-M-M. -M. And that's what we got to talk about here, ladies and gentlemen. Always be making money because inflation is not going away. We're at $30 trillion in debt. That's the United States of America, which means, think about it, ladies and gentlemen, ordinary citizens, I'll put it in this perspective. If somebody told you, or you somehow created $3 million of debt, where or where on this planet would you be able to walk in and go, hey, give me more money? You would not. They would all go. Wake it up. Are you in a are you a dream or something? You only made a hundred thousand dollars this year. You owe three million. Why would we give you money? Exactly. Are you crazy? But somehow in America, that's how the United States government operates. You know why? Because you're their meal ticket. Because you are going to be paying taxes. Or they're just going to steal your money outright. Take your pick. So some of you might be saying, hey, Eric, why did you talk about Dominican Republic before? There's more to Dominican Republic because you know what? They're not on the United States banking system. There won't be no confiscation of funds at this present moment until they threaten them, of course. But it hasn't happened so far. All right, Diesel Mike is in the house. Good evening, Eric and SSN family. Good evening to you, Diesel Mike. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. And he has the icon next to his name, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you so much, Diesel Mike, for being a member of the channel. And again, his tagline, which I've already said, is good evening, Eric and SSN family, and good evening to you too, Mike. Diesel Mike, that is. Curtis Davis, Mr. Financial. He has his own channel, ladies and gentlemen. Go check it out. You want to find out about stocks, crypto, how to make some money and get updates throughout the day and in the evening? Go see Chili Davis. That's right. C-H-I-L-L-Y Davis. Go subscribe to his channel, please. And oh, by the way, nobody answered the question. Lines of credit, 
or stock market or real estate investing? Which one, ladies and gentlemen? Come on now. I want to hear. SSN Nation members, this should be a slam dunk for you. Don't be shy. Put it down. Let us know. Diesel Mike, why? I'm not a fan of her. Never liked her. But I hate to see anyone go through financial hardships like that. Diesel Mike, yes, financial hardships. This is what financial hardships look like. All your money frozen at the bank. Just because, oh, wait, a teller said <laughs> you're unstable. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> you're unstable. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so now tellers are psychologists. <laughs> the bank, the bank, <laughs> the bank manager is a psychologist or something, man. This is crazy. This is America, man. This is craziness. Curtis Davis, crypto and other assets. The answer, not holding cash in banks. There we go. I like the start of it. He's got it. The start of it. Exactly. Crypto and other assets. The answer. Notice he said other assets, ladies and gentlemen. That's the answer. It's nuts, but it's real. Exactly. People have no idea. When you are on the American United States government, United States state, and you're under scrutiny, weird crap happens. This is stuff back in the day that I would have to, it wouldn't be on video. It wouldn't be on YouTube. There was no such thing. And so when you start telling your friends that this stuff happened, the bank froze my account, they're just like, what did you do? And you're like, uh, nothing. The bank stole my money. Ah, they don't do that. <laughs> you can imagine this is what I had to go through when I used to tell my friends before there was YouTube, before there was social media, people were th thinking I was like, he's lying. He just blew his money and telling people that it's that telling these stories. I'd be like, dudes, why do I have to lie? This is crazy. So, yeah, this thing about it's nuts, but it's real. Just like I said, think back in the day when it wouldn't have been on TV and Wendy Williams is running around talking to people going, damn, the bank froze my money because they thought I was a risk of some sort to myself, I guess. People would be like, you're lying. No, it's not lying. It's for real, ladies and gentlemen. This ain't been happening just in the last year or two. This has been happening for the last 50 years. All right, stop playing. Ford dealership have been caught gouging or overpricing Mach-E and Lightning truck, the CEO fighting this bad practice. Hey, dealerships pay for their dealerships. They can charge whatever the market bears. Remember this capitalism, capitalism is supposed to be so great. But remember, the inequality doesn't matter. Sheba jumped 24% on late Sunday and Bitcoin jumped 12% this week. Curtis Davis, Mr. Financial, giving people updates. I love it. I love it, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's get down. I got to do something. So I'm going to run a, 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 a video. Uh, I'm going to run a video. I'm trying to think. I don't know which one. Let me do. I'm going to do number. No, no, I'm not going to do that one. All right. Now I have so I have 11 of these things. So I'm trying to figure out which one I'm going to do. So why don't I go with because we have new people here. Why don't I go with number one? That's just in lifestyle. So I got to find something real quick because I want to get the PDF up on the screen for the $50,000 condo because that's an asset. And then when I come back, we're going to talk about the line of credit, the stock market and the real estate investing because Curtis Davis touched upon it. All right. So we'll get to it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, so let's talk about it. SSN Lifestyle, we get around Mr. Worldwide, the original. All right, all these new dudes, 
We've been having fun for the last 30 years. All right, 40. Now, let's get down. Lots of love. If you turn in your citizenship, you still owe U.S. government. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. Your, your social security number means money. Real estate investing. I got the notification. Thank you so much, Vanessa Comagate. I love it. Thank you so much. Lines of credit to acquire assets or build real estate, improve your business. Curtis Davis, Mr. Financial, is going along the lines, ladies and gentlemen. Lines of credit to acquire your asset is exactly, exactly it. Or build your real estate empire. Exactly. You're going to use your line of credit to build your real estate empire. And then you're going to use your profits and invest in the stock market. So it's called diversification, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, there's also crypto. All right. So these are the tools at your disposal. No barriers to entry, no credit checks, no qualifying. All of that is tools to you becoming financially free. Global Views, LOL. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. Thank you so much for being here. Very happy to see you in the house. All right, Robbie D Solutions have multiple streams of income. Exactly, DJ Robbie D. Robbie D Solutions. All right, we're only 10 minutes in. Eric talking truth. Haha, <laughs> don't run down the bank. <laughs> exactly. And in fact, let me ask you guys something. In all this bank situation, this cracks me up. So you guys do know the banks reported billions of dollars in profit, right? And banks do not exist unless people deposit money into a bank. What does a bank give you? They give you nothing for using your money. And you're thinking you're holding your money in the bank. You guys know good and well, we've talked about this before. I wish a lot of you would have twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 in the bank and go down to the bank and go, hey, I need 15K and see what they're going to do. They're going to look at you like, what do you need this money for? I'm like, excuse me, who are you talking to? That's my money in this bank. But au contraire, ladies and gentlemen, what you don't know is you don't read the fine print. When you submit your money into a bank, it actually in the fine print, it's their money now. That's right. So when the teller is saying, what do you need this money for? And I say, none of your business. It ain't your money. In the back of her head, she's like, <laughs> it is our money. Um, but the next thing is, I'm sorry. I can only give you like $2,000 or $3,000 today. You're going to have to make an appointment with one of these guys over here and come back. You, if that doesn't stop you from keeping your money in a bank, I don't know what will. If Wendy Williams story doesn't stop you from keeping your money in a bank, earning no interest, I don't know what will. Just because you have money in a bank doesn't mean you can get a line of credit, by the way. That means nothing. So is there really any upside? Seriously, you can use your money and at least make some money, at least put them in the stock market and get dividends. Hey, how about this? PSEC, you guys know that's one of my favorite stocks to receive dividends at 9% about now. How about one I keep neglecting? SHLX. I keep neglecting that. I looked at my account and I was like, oh, man, I forgot about SHLX dividends. That's another stock that you can get dividends on. 9% a year, 10% per year, right? So, sure, you can get dividends on Apple, but who cares about 2%? Inflation is double digits, 15. So, at least I need 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, somewhere in there. Let's talk about it, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Global Views. I just got a check for 91 cents for Bank of America closing my account. I'm cashing in the A. <laughs> Golly, Global Views. Wow. Okay. Global Views. Oh, man. Time to move on. Good God almighty. 91 cents. It's not even worth the paper they wrote it on. That is too funny. Wilson Koo is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. Thank you so much for being here with the icon next to the name. And he says his tagline. Good evening, Mr. Bird and SSN family. Good evening to you. 
100% facts. That's what we deal in here. And I sell money. Lines of credit, ladies and gentlemen. Well, the man has just entered the room. He's in the house here within the SSN Nation. You want to invest? Well, your ticket to investing is here because this man sells money. What he means by sell money? I don't know how I can count the ways. Some of you may in, be in business right now. And you're sitting there going, man, I'm strapped. I have a cash crunch. But you know what else I have? I have reoccurring revenue coming in every month. He can take that reoccurring revenue, assign a value to it, and you can have a check. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Because you have reoccurring revenue, that's worth something. That's a derivative. Somebody will give you money for that reoccurring revenue. He can help you out. Oh, and where do you go? Quick, easyfunds.com. That's Q-U-I-K-E-Z, E is an Eric, Z is in zebra, funds.com. Quick, easy funds, or you can send me an email at support at stopjugglingnow.com, and I'll forward your email to Mr. Wilson Koo. Now, oh, hold on now. Guess what just happened? Last year, somebody sent me some property in the Atlanta area. And it was called like Camelot, some apartments. There was a lot of them, but it was in the hood. It was all ravaged. And I said, oh, man, this is like garbage. But the suggestions came. What somebody would do is buy some units and then put a, a wall up, fix up all the units, and then just keep building this, the gates. So then they all be separate. So you didn't have to worry about the vagrants. You didn't have to worry about the homeless. You didn't have to worry about people always breaking in, even though you're still going to have to worry about that. But at least you can get it rehabbed. Well, guess what? I come back to the ATL. Guess it's a small world, exactly. One of the family members comes up to me and starts talking about Camelot, starts talking to me about, hey, your sister actually is running places over there, and you can buy these places for $5,000 to $10,000. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, condominiums in the ATL. That's right. I'm in shock. I haven't got all the full news. As you guys know, I've been very busy with my mom's situation. But this week, I'm going to have the news and I'm actually going to be going out there. So, of course, there's going to be video time. You guys are going to find out about this if it's real or fake. We're going to find out about it because a lot of people can afford 510 G's. And guess what else? Mr. Wilson Koo here. Guess what else, ladies and gentlemen? Let's just say that property does cost 510 G's. I don't care. 15 G's. And let's just say after you build it out, the rehab Let's say the rehab is another 15 G's, but the market value after you buy it, rehab it is, let's say 75 G's. Well, we know we're in the metropolitan area, so it's going to be worth more than that. But let's just say 75 G's. You bought it for 15. Mr. Koo can wrap you up alone, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. The rehab money, the down payment to acquire all in a loan using other people's money. It gets fixed up. They get their money back after you sell it. Or actually, you may be able to refi it because if you have like a 60% LTV, I think you might be able to refi it. Mr. Koo can answer this question, but I think you can refi it and still keep it under your name, I would think. Or you can just turn around and flip it. And now you made a quick, let's just say 30 G's, 40 G's using other people's money. Oh, and the credit, I don't know. I think you need a 680 if I'm not mistaken. But I'm sure he'll chime in and let us know, ladies and gentlemen. Right? He's going to let us know. Diesel Mike, the USA is a third world country. That's right. The only difference between us and developing countries is we are industrialized and have infrastructure for now. Exactly. And our infrastructure is falling apart, just like a third world country, not getting its rehab done. Because when you're 30 trillion in de deficit and you want to spend 760 billion for the military war industrial complex, you don't want to spend a billion or two or 20 or 30 billion on infrastructure but you want to spend 700 billion on the industrial war machine so when putin goes to the ukrainian border and starts waving his army around you want to be able to say well we spent 760 billion dollars we have the best and baddest airplanes and 
and yachts and boats and all this crap that can shoot missiles off these boats. Stealth bombers. Um, you know, I just have a question. We have all this badass military equipment. And, uh, you know, Putin has military personnel at the border. He's not using planes, boats, none of that. So I want to know, you're going to send over Americans to go over there and fight for Ukraine? But you're going to tax people for that $760 billion because you're building fighter jets and stealth bombers and missiles and all that that you're not going to use? Seems to me this would be a good time to come out and break out some of those stealth bombers and move the Russian army back a little bit. Since, you know, Ukraine's our allies and all. Seems to me, I'm just saying, I think I need a, I think I need a new channel. <laughs> I think I need a new channel. A third world country wants to go to war. This is killing me. All right, James Way, I got to run around for 7K and was to hold to give them a week a few years back. <laughs> exactly, James Way. That's what I'm trying to say. Until you actually go down there and, and, and go, hey, I need 15K, 10K, or whatever the K is, you don't realize how jacked up you are. Then you realize, whoa, wait a minute. And here we go, a perfect example. James Way had 7K hemmed up. So now you guys see it's not just 15K. He's talking 7K and they're hemming him up, come back in a week. And that's a few years back, ladies and gentlemen. The problem is it happens like probably to uh, like 100,000, 50 to 100,000 people every month. But it's no big deal because the 50 to 100,000 people are like, well, I can't get my money out. What am I supposed to do? Then you hear the stories after somebody starts talking about it. So hardly anybody talks about it. Until a high profile person like Wendy Williams gets her accounts froze. And then you find out, wait, wait, they're doing that to her. What are they going to do to you? All right. So anyhow, Mr. Quick and Easy Funds, like I was saying, gives you opportunities, ladies and gentlemen. You have a business on Amazon like Andy Ortiz and you start producing and having revenue coming in. How about getting more funding for your business? That's right. Mr. Wilson Koo can help you with that, ladies and gentlemen. The new era. You're on eBay. You're on Amazon. You're selling things. You're selling products. And you're like, damn, man, I wish I can get an extra 30 Gs or 20 Gs. QuickEasyFunds.com. All right. Enough with that. But Wilson Koo showing the love. Evening. Miguel, Laverne P., Victor M., Vanessa K., Robbie D., Curtis D., James Wade Diesel, Mike. All right. Vanessa Comigate, her personal banker, said she was of unsound mind. Wendy has millions. Oh, they're trying to hem her up. They're trying to make sure the banker's like, hold on now. We don't want you to withdraw all this money out of our bank. And I'm going to lock it up saying you're crazy without any diagnosis of that, without anybody coming in here saying you've lost your mind. They fired the banker, but they still have her account frozen. She has to sue. Exactly. She has to sue to get her money. That's exactly right. Except there's one huge problem that's going to come into play. Guess what? How insulting is this going to be? Settling. Have to settle. Because like I said, ladies and gentlemen, there's a fine print. When you drop your money in a bank, it's no longer your money. Huh. That's why she has to sue. That's why they're going to make her sue. And that's why she's going to settle. All right. Julio Torres, Barack Obama signed an executive order and went in the office that makes it legal for banks to confiscate your money and gold to pay off your debts next time they default. And they will, as the banks hold. Okay. All right. Julio Torres. He did not make it legal for banks to confiscate your money. Banks have been confiscating money ever since the 1910s. That's why when in 1932, 1930s, Great Depression, they closed down the banks, calling themselves a bank holiday. They confiscated people's money. Then, 
So his executive order did not allow banks to confiscate. They always confiscated your money. Garnishments has been confiscation. FBI raids boxes, safe deposit boxes in a bank. They're supposed to go to one box. They raid all the boxes. And then they tell the people, you got to prove that this money was made legally. That's called confiscation. So it just didn't happen because Obama did an executive order. It's been happening. Confiscation has been happening. Now, this other part um, and goal to pay off their debts next time they default, I don't know about that. Um, because they don't like American citizens holding gold. All right. That's the first thing. All right. J Jeppy, J E P I. Uh oh. Mr. Financial getting into some of the things, telling people about, uh oh. They're messing with me, ladies and gentlemen. I can already see I my my signal is lost. It went down a bit whenever I start talking about stuff. Jeppy, VGT, VOO, these are index funds, ladies and gentlemen. So is Jeppy. Some of the best ETFs. ETFs, there you go. Earning money while you sleep, staying with the best indexes. That's all you have. Have to have the chance to look in the drip network yet? Nope. I am rolling with drip. That animal farm is also on fire. No, Victor Barrero, unfortunately, the family matters with the funeral and all that. Over the last three to five days, I haven't been able to do it, plus the flying. So even though I tried to get that drip thing going last Monday, I haven't, quite frankly, been dealing with family matters. So there's no way. And it's not even over. But I'm trying to get, in fact, I meant to do drip today. And, oh, just full disclosure, crypto, get your free $10 of coin, uh, free $10 of Bitcoin at Coinbase. Down below in the description, get your free five dollars from uh, uh, Sheba from Webull, or you can pick Doggy Coin, or you can pick ADA. But anyhow, get your free five dollars from them down below in the description. And speaking of stock market investing, get your free stocks from Robinhood and Webull if you haven't downloaded those apps yet. Just get your feet in the water if you haven't done any stock market investing or crypto investing. Get some free crypto. Get some free stocks. Why not? Oh, and by the way, share your link with other people so then they get free stocks and you get free stocks. Simple. All right. While you're messing around on social media. But no, I haven't. And full disclosure, I bought some more Hector today at $19 and something. Dollar cost average for me because when I originally jumped into Hector, it was $250 a coin. Now it's down to $19 a coin. So I said, Today's a good day, except Hector now has something new, which is a little irritating. They have what they call a warm-up period. And the warm-up period, um, when you buy something, they hold it for 24 hours, and then they stake it. But you still earn the rebase every eight hours during this 24-hour lockup. I don't understand. I didn't read into it too much. What the why the 24 hour lockup? If somebody stakes them, but I I don't know. They came up with this. So, but I bought some more into Hector today because it was so low. Um, and also in case anybody, I bought another uh, power node, but that was last week. And I told people on the Wednesday night live, I believe, yeah, Wednesday night live. I let people know, so you guys know I do that full disclosure stuff. Even though it doesn't really matter on the YouTube verse, people don't like receipts. They like being lied to, but we like receipts here and we're going to continue that. All right. So that's how it works. I haven't checked into Wonderland to see what the, what happened. Um, I just left my memo in Wonderland. That's where it's at. I'm going to have to check this week and see if they're totally gone or whatever the situation is. I don't know. All right. Julio Torres says the biggest derivatives debt. In the hundred billions, ah, Julio Torres, he's got some partial information. I'm going to show you something, Julio Torres. The biggest derivative debt in the hundred billions. What if I told you hundreds of trillions? What if I told you quadrillions? Right. You would be like, what exactly? Um, 
I'm going to see if I can pull this up. I don't think I can, but we will see. Um, ah, Investopedia, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go, Julio Torres. This is what we do around here. It's a live stream, but we bring out the facts of life. We have to tell people. Sometimes we have to get the real here. It's real in the field out here, and we don't let anybody get wrong or less than information. Your information is correct. It is hundred billions. There are derivatives of that nature. Cause so you're right. That's why I had to bring it up to let people know it. He used the billions word. I'm telling you right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's more dire than that. All right. Here's Investopedia. On here it is. Here it is. The derivatives market, often estimated at over one quadrillion. It says on the high end. Ladies and gentlemen, it's clearly one quadrillion. You know why you know this? And thank you so much, Julio Torres, for bringing this to the to the forefront because this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is part of why you can't get ahead. This is why the ordinary citizens, us, the OCs, you can't get ahead because of these derivatives. So in case you don't know what a derivative is, I'm going to use a perfect example. You guys, everybody goes to a gym. Not everybody. A lot of people go to a gym and some of you pay $10 a month. Some of you pay 20. Some of you pay 30. Well, a gym can't operate and stay open by signing up 10 people a day at $30 a membership, right? But when they sign that contract, and that contract is for a year, that contract is worth $360. 30 times 12 is 360. So now during the course of a month, let's just keep the number simple. We signed up 100 people, right? So when you start doing these type of numbers, so here's what I'm going to do because my brain isn't working right now. 100 times 360, $36,000, all right? So that's why when you work in a gym, they try to get you to sign people up. So a gym gets 100 people signed up. They have $36,000 worth of contracts this month. So what if you knew that they can turn those contracts in and then instead of getting their next payment of 100 people times 30, Right. All of a sudden, the guys come in and say, hey, every every uh, hundred contract you give us, we're going to give you seventeen thousand dollars. So now they have 17 grand up front, which would have taken them about half a year to seven months to get. That's why when you sign up with the gym, they normally have another company collect the money. Because it's a derivative. They've already gotten paid for the contract. And then they sign up another 100 people. So now they get another 17,000. Then one month they do great because it's the beginning of the year, January. Everybody has their New Year's resolutions. And all of a sudden now you got 300 people that just signed up. Now you got a $51,000 check. There's one problem when you play the derivative game. The company itself now has to sign up more people in order to get another payday and now you don't sign up enough people to keep your operations because you have mismanagement of funds which most companies do and then you're saying oh my god we got to sell equipment we got to start doing some things and now you have this downward spiral because you already sold off as a derivative lots of contracts all right and i actually was involved with a company called international fitness in sacramento they had eight locations. Shout out to Bob Bale. Yeah, Bob Bale's a cool guy, but he was running international fitness. And because I worked at the corporate office, we were able to sign up. We have eight officers. Could you imagine signing up anywhere from 500 to 700 people per month? It was that simple. He could turn it into that paper into like 200 thousand dollars per month he's getting it up front but things come to a head because after two or three years 
you're signing up people. Then what starts happening is you saturated the market because you're like one of the only guys in town. There was no fit 24 hour fitness. There was no competition. So now you done sucked up all these people who signed up and now trying to get new people in was harder, but yet he effed off the 200 K per. So basically he effed off the millions of dollars out playing, partying, going on some other adventures, trying to buy up some other business, trying to do all this stuff. International fitness, the reason why you don't hear about them, they're out of business. Okay? So that's the dangers of derivatives. So as soon as the company can't generate any more money, who's holding the bag? The other guys are also holding the bag that paid the 17000 Because now people are like, the gym is closed. Why am I going to pay you? Now you have the 2008 housing crisis and how it occurred. So both ends stop paying. No new customers and the other guys aren't receiving their money. They have the derivative. They paid out 17 grand. They only got seven grand back thus far. Now what? So there you go. That's derivatives, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Spirit Air just merged with Frontier. No surprise there, Curtis Davis. Save, chump, 17% on the news. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't either. But quite frankly, it makes sense. The low-cost carrier is teaming up because now they have more routes. They still get to make tons of money. Everything's a la carte. Got to love it. I'm loving it. I'm a discount den person. I'm an elite member. More routes, more areas. More uh, no luggage and no bag fees. <laughs> I love it. All right. Curtis Davis agreed. Jeffy, one year, 19.18 with the 6.83 dividend. VOO and VGT are both doing over 21% year return. I can't complain. Victor Marrero, Mr. ETF, Mr. Index Fund. See, ladies and gentlemen. And the answer to the question is diversified. You have your credit, you have stock market, you have real estate, you have gold and silver. You're diversified. That's where you want to be, ladies and gentlemen, because you never know what lever's going to come down next. Because here's the situation. I was having a conversation just last night where somebody, I was talking with my cousin and I said, hey, man, you know they're going to raise the interest rate in two months because he was talking about trying to buy a house or property or fourplex. And so then I was like, hey, just go down and get the FHA, give them the 4% down. You only need a 620, 640 credit score and uh, live in one of the units for a year, run out the other. And then in a year or two or a year or two, you can go down and refi, take that money out and redo it again. I said, and then he says, well, you know, property values are this that, and the other. And I said, yeah, you're right. But I said, you know, in my estimation, six, to eight months, if you're talking about houses and things like that, property value is going to go down. The interest rates are going to go up in a T minus 60 days. So I was like, you don't have to worry about buying a house if that's your, what you're trying to do. Because he was turning in, you know, buying a house too. I was like, just wait. In the next six to eight months to a year, you're going to be fine. Another guy chimed in and he said it's going to take about a year, year and a half. And his reasoning was people are moving to the ATL. So therefore, housing prices will maintain its value. And therefore, because of demand, people are going to pay those higher price values. And I said, I said, you know, that's a very interesting, interesting thought process. But I disagree. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm saying. But diversification is the answer, ladies and gentlemen, of what you should be doing. We're one hour in. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you like what we're talking about so far, you can ask questions down here in the chat room. We can talk. This is the No Guru Zone. Please subscribe to the channel and click the all notification bell. Or if you want an icon next to your name, then you need to join the Stop Struggling Now channel. But this is the No Guru Zone. We don't sell courses. There's none of that down below. This is the SSN Academy, SSN University, free like in Germany, free like in the developed country norway sweden free education because when you're educated 
rising tide lifts all boats and you can make better decisions. All right. Okay. Hopefully that gets you there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Let's see what else we got. All right. Diesel Mike, here we go. Don't use Binance US to buy BNB unless you want your deposit to be held for 10 days. Buy it through KuCoin. Thank you so much, Victor Marrero, for that. Uh, you guys know I I agree with him. Um, don't use Binance US. Luckily, I have Binance regular, but because I'm in the US and they recognize the ISP, they block it. And I'm like, fine, I don't need anything out of there. But when I leave the country, I use the regular Binance, the one, you know, the land of the free Binance. When you load money up, it's available to you like now. <laughs> it's like cracks me up when I got Binance US. I was just like, I never used Binance US. I was just like, is this a joke? Joshua Felder, the great fall is coming to a country near you. Exactly, Joshua Felder, $30 trillion in deficits. Yikes. Lots of love to the river. The game eventually folds 17,000 twice in fourth month. Some bogus shut down rent, lease, employee payroll. There you go. That's it exactly. That's how it works. Wilson Coop says hit that like button. It's free, ladies and gentlemen. It won't hurt you. Planet Fitness, 10 or $20 a month. This crazy business model. Exactly. The reason why they're doing that is just, ex oh, man. You know what? Speaking of this, ladies and gentlemen, another thing you should be doing is starting your own business. I have the Opus virtual office down below in the description. That gives you a virtual office address. Some person, another person in their company answers it under your name, LLC, your business name, LLC. Welcome to your business name, LLC. How can I help you? Then they say, hey, I want to speak with Eric Bird. They go, OK, I'll transfer you. And then they ring whatever number you want forwarded. Or they'll say, I'm sorry, nobody's in the office. We'll send you to voicemail. That's right. You have a business phone number that you can put on Google, a business fax number you can put on Google. Professional answer from your phone. And a commercial address. Now your business is eligible for business credit. I'm just saying. But yeah, speaking of Planet Fitness, the reason why Planet Fitness is prolific is because they sell franchises. So they're selling franchises and doing the derivative game and they're expanding and their franchises aren't that expensive because as you guys know, there's rarely no, there's not going to be a pool in the joint, right? So they're keeping their expenses down for their franchisees and they're buying the, the franchisees are buying their equipment that's branded for Planet Fitness, that purple and uh, what is it? Purple and black TVs are in there. They have almost everything in there, but it's not one of those gold gym type of places. It's for ordinary citizens, but they get derivatives and franchise fees. And there's plenty of places to grow because a lot of fitness and gyms go out of business and they can take their spot. It's a beautiful program. I've got to give Planet Fitness some credit on how they operate. I love it. Wilson Koo. Evening, Joshua F. Showing some love. Professor Auntie Val is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. The one responsible for the strong block information where you earn 10% per day based on the coin price, which could mean $1,500, $1,800, $2,000 per month. Passive income. Welcome to the SSN Nation. Once again, Professor Auntie Val to the Money Making Mondays. She's responsible for a lot of SSN Nation members earning some money because of strong block in crypto, by the way. Good evening, fam. She's got the heart going. She's got the strength showing. And thank you so much. And that's her tagline, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Curtis Davis in business. Most people are 30-day net. That's right. 90-day net bill. Feel like it's good and dandy, except that then the 40K check payment does roll in. It's domino fallout. Takes one to two years to unwind. Exactly. Exactly. And that's why I generally try to tell people in business, stay away from any derivative play. You don't need that. Some people, most people, they want their credit. They want their business credit. They go out here, they start the business. They actually start making a profit. Then they go out here and start doing the business credit and listening to these people here saying, yeah, you can get your $150,000 credit, line of credit, and then they use it. 
And then when the bill comes due and somebody says, hey, man, we need our 20 G's. And they're like, what do you mean? <laughs> this isn't personal credit. This is business credit. We need our 20 G's this month. They're like, we don't have it. Well, then I guess we're going to have to reduce your line of credit. And I guess we're going to have to probably flag your business account. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. The things that they don't tell you. Actually, it's in the trillions. Julio Torres um, in America. Trillions, I'll take that. Quadrillions, though. But trillions, you're right. When you said hundreds of billions, that's actually trillions, too. So I understand. I was just going into the, because I knew across the globe, it's like a quadrillion. So it's a high number because all countries, all banks, all these index funds, whether it's from China to Europe, Africa, they all do South America, any exchanges, they all use derivatives. They package things together that they bring to Wall Street and then they go sell it all around the world. And some of these things look like when somebody tells you emerging markets, that's one of them. So, but he's right, trillions, quadrillions, it don't matter. It's the same crazy number that are derivatives that this is why being in America who holds a world currency and they're $30 trillion in debt, they're actually more than $30 trillion in debt. That's the dirty little secret. You guys don't realize that America does its own derivatives, right? Think about it. When they're saying, hey, buy some bonds and the rest of the world is going, hey, man, your bond rates are like 1.5% for 10 years. Why would we buy your bonds? That's stupid. <laughs> it's like, I mean, good God almighty. That's actually a derivative in itself. Thin air. All right. Julio Torres. Wow. Exactly. Robbie D. Solutions. Smash that like button. Thank you so much. It's free, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't cost you anything, nothing but support. That's what the like button is. I smashed the like button too. Thank you so much, Curtis Davis. Thanks for the correction, Julio Cor Torres. Actually, you are actually correct because I think you were referring to U.S. The whole world is one quadrillion. The U.S. is in the trillions for sure. Hundreds of billions, exactly. Same thing. They're in the trillions. And it's not 30 trillion either. You can count, count on that. CFG Properties, LLC. I live in Atlanta. I own Atlanta Fair Offer. Atlanta is full of defaults. CFG Properties. You know what, man? Thank you so much for being in the house tonight. I know it's a little promo for you, but hold on a second. I just got something. Eric, your video image is not clear. Uh-oh, that's not good. Here's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go uh, check out some things. He says my screen is not clear. Uh oh, that's a problem. Oh, you know why? Thank you so much, Mr. Cool. Thank you so much. I know why it's not clear. Remember, I tapped on the <laughs> tapped on the damn thing. Hold on a second. All right, we're going to change this up in a sec. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring up a certain thing on the screen here. And... No, I'm going to do something. Well, okay. First of all, an ATL fair offer. We're going to come check out your website right now. But there's a few things I need to do. So hold on. Let me let me do this first. All right. Let me do this first uh, because I got to get my screen cleaned up. <laughs> so that's why I got to do this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. See what's on the screen, $50,000. That's right, $50,000. That's what we're dealing with here, ladies and gentlemen. One bedroom, one bath condo. That's it. This is one of the first ones. Okay, they're going to show the nice beach. Don't get all crazy. It's not at the beach. All right. And I see this is in Spanish, but they're showing you the azul, aqua azul waters. Yeah, here we go. Townhouses, 40 square meters, which, you know, 40 square meters is kind of small for a one bedroom. And this is not, this is going to be straight up no frills for 50K. What do you expect, right? 
You can't expect a lot for 50K. Let's get real. But this is what it's going to look like. Just a little street in front of your joint. Too close to the road, in my opinion. But this is very interesting because I don't know what this road is. Because you don't really park here. But let's go on and you'll see what I mean by this. Here we go. This has three levels to it, which, which makes this very interesting. First level, second level with a terrace. So, I mean, there's a one bedroom on the bottom level and there's a one bedroom with a terrace, which makes this very, very interesting because this looks like a 40 square meter terrace. In case you don't know, roughly 40 square meters is 400, 440 square feet. I don't mind a 440 square feet terrace. That means I got a jacuzzi up there. By the way, the jacuzzi is included. This is called Project Niagara. So I don't know if this two bedroom with a terrace, which means it's 80 square meters. So now I see it's 80 square meters. It's not a two bedroom. That's a one bedroom with an upstairs terrace, which means this is a penthouse. Okay. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. I need to find out something. Um, I'm doing this on demand, but I got to get in touch with somebody because this right here is pretty major. I got to find out because if this one bedroom. See, listen, here's the way I look at townhouses. Townhouses are upstairs, downstairs. So if what I see on the screen, if they're trying to tell me that there's a downstairs and a second level and a terrace, that would be 120 square meters. But therefore, let me find out something. We got to find out how much this costs, right? Right? If it's a one bedroom with the terrace, I like one bedroom with the terrace because you guys know what that means. From a... um. From a rental perspective, I look at the one bedroom terrace with uh, 400 square feet. They have a table up there. That looks like a fireplace or something. Maybe it's a fire pit. But nonetheless, if you start having this kind of thing, that means I got an extra area up here that I can use. I can actually, depending on what they allow me to do, I can actually make this a bedroom up here, turn this into a two bedroom and have a jacuzzi upstairs, that might work. People can sleep up here in an enclosed area. I don't know if they'll let me do it, but hey, it's a thought. Okay, so here we are. I guess they are parking in the street here. I guess, I, I don't know what this is. This looks like a different, oh, this is a townhouse. This is the one bedroom. So this is back here. So this is this here then. No, it's not. This isn't it. Uh, you guys are going to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need help from you guys here because this is not it. Because this looks a little different. They're showing me a door. I don't see a door here. I don't see a door on any of these ends. This looks like you're walking upstairs or something. I don't, I don't know what's going on here, ladies and gentlemen. But we're going to find out because this right here is definitely a townhouse. This is definitely a townhouse. Not much parking room, though. This is like a discount. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So we have an official 80 square meters. Two car parking. You walk in. All right. Let me know what you guys think about this. Two bedrooms upstairs. One has its own master. The other one appears to be the bathroom in the hallway. Or, yeah, bathroom, no, walk-in closet. Oh, beautiful, two master suites. Okay, I'm down. Somebody start talking to me. What do you guys think this is worth? Because if they say 75 grand or 65 grand, that's what I'm thinking. This is two bedroom, two and a half baths. There's a half bath downstairs. Some of you are already probably going, where's this at? This literally, I, I think I uploaded it. It's it's um 
you come out of the airport and you go on your way towards uh, downtown Punakana. Well, when you hit the turn to hit the freeway that takes you to downtown, it's literally right about where that turn is. So literally you're two miles from downtown. This is not bad setup. You guys know how I feel about this. There's a half bath downstairs. That means you have people on the sofa sleeper. Remember the jacuzzis included. And you guys know what I'm looking for next. The two bedroom upstairs, which is going to have a terrace. I'm hoping they have that. That would be sweet. But you have a half bath downstairs. So anybody that's sleeping downstairs at least can use the toilet and a sink. They don't have to come upstairs and use the bathroom officially in the morning that early. So therefore, when you wake up, then somebody can come use the restroom. That's the only thing about this. I prefer to have a full bath. It's a small unit. You got to give them credit. I mean, but here you go. Jacuzzi included. Um, that's interesting. Here's the dimensions. I probably, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, tomorrow after or later on the day after tonight after this drops, I'm going to put the link down below. Let me make sure you guys are seeing this. Yeah, you are. I'm going to have you guys see the have a link down below to the brochure. The rooms are not going to be that big. This is, ladies and gentlemen, this is discount. This is budget. This is your place. You want to rent somebody a two bedroom for seventy five dollars a night. This is your spot. $60 a night, $50 a night. This is your spot. Your investment is going to be under hundred grand. So you're not going to care about somebody saying $550, $600 for a week. You're not going to care about that. Because all you need to do is do two weeks in prime time, $1,000 times four months, that's four Gs. And then the rest of the year, you just go, okay, I'll make $1,000 for those eight months. $12,000. You're only going to spend $50,000 for a one-bedroom with that terrace. You can make a two-bedroom maybe. A two-bedroom for sure. So even if I was under that program and I make uh, $14,000, $15,000 and I only bought the place for seventy, seventy-five, dollars I'm thinking of two bedrooms. I'm going to be seventy-five dollars eighty dollars I get my 15%. Now I'm knocking on the door for 20% because if I can get this thing for 75 grand, 15,000 is 20% a year on my money. I'm taking that, going home to the bank. Think about it, all right? Oh, this is interesting. This would be upstairs. Huh. Somewhat of a skylight, but you guys can see these rooms aren't that big. You can see it looks like if you put a queen or a king in here, you have basically 12 inches on either side, I could guess, for a nightstand. So these boxes are pretty small, but hey, what do you expect? This is the budget joint. This is the budget joint. 50, 75 grand. It's the budget joint. What can you say? Nice little bookshelves underneath. That's cute. And here we are right back. We're on 16. Some of you are going, what's the payment plan? $3,000 to reserve, 15% down. And so your $3,000 is in, is part of it. So let's get it. Oh, in fact, I have the numbers. So let me tell you guys the numbers. Since um, I'm not going to try and guess, I'll just tell you what the numbers are. $3,000 to reserve. Um, so that 15% down is $4,500 after 15 days. So what is that, 75? 15% on 50,000 is, yeah, that's 7,500. Yep, so basically 7,500. So 3,000 to reserve, $4,500 after 15 days. During construction, it's 28 months, ladies and gentlemen. Your payments are $625 a month. You're going to have put down 50%. And then something says $25 USD financing. Delivery, May 2024. There you go. So bus, roughly you're going to be paying $675 a month, not $625. Let's call it $675 a month. 
if you decided to jump in on this right now and starting in about two months. So then you only have 26 payments left. So you're going to have to pay 675 a month for two years. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you think. Assets, ladies and gentlemen, no credit check, no qualifying, no barriers to entry. Let me know if hopefully this is a little clearer. Let me know what you guys think. And then we'll come back to the ATL fair offer. Remind me on this. Mr. Cool, Eric, your video is not clear. Hopefully it's clearer. That's crazy. That's right. Wilson Koo, the money man. What's up, brother? Exactly, Joshua Felder. FYI, I spoke with my nail guys. Mind blown. Can't wait. Oh, yes. I haven't been able to check most of my emails. That's I know. Vanessa Comigate, you now know what the deal is, right? Is this off the chart? Placement? All in? Set up? All in? All you have to do is load the machine up with the items. But placement is in place. Payment for the for the uh, vending machine done. That's it. Set it and forget it. All inclusive price. <laughs> the 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 lease agreement already in place. I mean, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. She knows what I know. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I don't know if they signed their contracts. Maybe I'll have an email. I'll find out tomorrow. But yes. And by the way, if you're going to be a member of SSN Lifestyle, the vending machine fingernails to go, that's going to be part of the SSN Lifestyle investment. Founders Club members get first dibs. Premier members get next in case. But starting out, everybody will have a shot that's a member. If you're a free member, you have no shot because Ring of Fire is only open to members that pay, quite frankly. So you have to have a membership in order to get into the ring of fire and possibly be in on this passive income investment of fingernails to go. All right. So some of you are going, what about this SSN lifestyle? Unfortunately, I do not have a link down below, but I'll be adding that to SSNlifestyle.com. All right. Good evening, Mr. Koo from Monte Val. That's right. Business credit or business line of credit can be frozen or reduced at any time. Discretion of the comptroller of the lending business. Exactly. Exactly. There you go. Auntie Val, good evening from Curtis Davis. Joshua, man, they are killing your internet. I know, man. Hey, check this out. This time I'm in the ATL. So I don't think there's any fluke on this. I said, yo, y'all arguing about the debt amount of 30 trillion or 50 trillion. The U.S. Treasury can just put another 100 trillion. Exactly, Curtis Davis. You got that right. Exactly. You got a good point there. Good evening, Mr. Davis. That's right. CFG. Hey, CFG, we should chat as I have people looking for distressed properties. Well, CFG, welcome to the property. Lots of love. The website is shaky, but I've been buying since 2011. I'm an Atlanta native and a lot has changed. You got that right. You got that right. Here's what's changed. Property values have changed. Ridiculous. Okay. Yes. Do tell more about the distressed properties in the ATL. Well, we're going to go check them out. He says it's rough, but hey, man, you don't come to the big dog's house and then say, hey, man, I got a website. You know we got to go check this out. I know what you were thinking, though. I know what you were thinking, CFG. Properties, I know what you were thinking. You're like, okay, I'm going to tell them about it. Then some people will go over there and check it out. But most people ain't just going to go there like we're about to go to. This is live streaming, my man. This is what we do. We try to make money here. We don't talk about it. And as some people would say, we be about it. All right. Looks nice. Prices are good. 65K for two bedroom, too bad. Damn good. Hey, Victor uh, Wilson Koo, I don't know the price. I was just guessing because if a one bedroom is 50K, 49.9, how much is a two bedroom can't be no more than 100, right? But for another room, how can it's not going to be 100? So my guess is like they're making this very cheap. So my guess is somewhere like 75, 80. That would be my guess. So they're doing a 50K for a 40 square meter. But a two bedroom is basically another half bath and another room. That's what they're doing. So I'm like, I'm thinking it's only it, it can't be. I don't think it's going to be more than 80. I just don't see how that's going to happen. Because if you do that, then people are going to go 100K for a two bedroom. Well, for 120K, I might do something else. I'll get a villa at 
Primavera. I mean, or Del Mar. Um, not the Del Mar by eBay, but the Del Mar that investment hawk invested into um, downtown where he got $143,000 and he's getting a three bedroom, three and a half bath villa. So then your mind starts changing because now you're like, wait for another 30, 40 G's. I can do something different. Facts. The price is amazing. Exactly. Is this a Mr. Astachio deal? No, it is not because urban group. So it's not his. I mean, he might have something to do with it, but I don't think so because he's generally um, hanging out with his, because he's with our apartmentos, RD. So he's going with them because they're uh, primary brokers only for so many things. And oh, by the way, Zeba, there's some properties available at Zeba on the golf course in Punakan. I mentioned this on last Wednesday. There's five units available, three villas. One bedroom and a two bedroom condo. The two bedroom has golf views. The price actually, they're still giving the same price as last year. Wilson Koo, if you have a 680 credit and equity in home and a business, then I can set you on an MCA to use. Payment would not be too bad. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's why you got to talk around here. Quick Easy Funds can help you out if you want some financing. So, a lot of people, look here. Traditional financing, this is what you traditionally get. People are saying, okay, put down 25%. Then you can do that. Then they'll say, oh, you can get that FHA loan for 3%, whether it's a house or whether it's a fourplex. Um, that, that's normal stuff. This right here, not normal stuff. All right? So you see what the requirements are, and now you know who to go talk to. Lots of love, CFGs. <laughs> He's like, where do I look up Strong Network? You mentioned a few minutes ago, Julio Torres, strongblock.com. Strongblock.com. I'll explain it to you. All right. I think it's strongblock.com. Yes, it is strongblock.com. So basically, we're, we'll get to you, ATL Fair. Um, we'll get to you, CFG Properties. Don't worry. We'll get to you, man. We'll get to you. Hold on. Give me a second. We're going we're gonna to talk about, we got, we got passive income to talk about right now. All right? So what you're going to do here is, uh, how do I got this? This is not working for me. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay. I don't want to add the screen. We're going to stop this. All right. So with Strong Block, there's a thing called Strong Coin. You buy 10 of the coins. So the coins are probably around 530 right now or something. We're going to go find out, though. All right. So first, I'll go to the Strong Block website. So then you can get an idea of what we're working with because they changed their website a little bit. Because you can use Polygon nodes. <laughs> no more of this high E fees. Strong Block. Love you guys doing the damn right thing, getting off the ETH network. Because you, the ETH network, you have to buy 10 coins. So when coins cost $500 and then the ETH is sitting there saying, well, you want $6,000, we're going to take out a few hundred. So that's why a few hundred dollars coming out of your pocket because you're using ETH network versus, hell, probably less than $20 for the same 6000 if you use Polygon. But now you don't need 6000 in there. Now all you have to do is get your 10 nodes and then let's say the coins are 500. We'll go find out the price. But you get 10, you've got 10 coins. Then you come to strongblock.com and you create your node. One node is 10 strong coins. Then you earn 10% of the coin price every day. All right. It's that simple. So that's your reward for getting 10. So check this out. Destroying strong coins. Let's do it this way. Just in case there's a strong coin. Strong block. Here we go. So it's called strong. That's the coin. So nice price. 477. So now you know you need 4,950 bucks of some sort of crypto that you're going to have to buy the coin. That's what you're going to need. 
you got to buy 10 of these 477 and 45 cent coins. And then two days from now, you will get, let's say the coin price stayed the same, you get $47 as a reward. The next day, let's just say the coin price is the same, you get another $47. The next day, $47. What do you have to do? Nothing. Passive. Start doing 30 times 50, that's 1,500. 30 times 40, 1,200. So if the price stays even above 400, you know you're going to have $1,200 earned. How do you get the money? You have to claim it. You're going to pay gas fees. But if you're on the polygon, your gas fees are going to be pennies. So therefore, let's just say you had $1,200 at the end of the month and you said, man, I'd like to take that out. That's fine. You just claim it. And you'll have the strong in your account. It's that simple. It's not that hard. Or you can let it ride and do what Auntie Val, Victor Marrero did. And they said, since I'm getting $1,200, $1,500 a month or $1,800 a month, I'll just wait in a couple of months and I'll get another node. Now, instead of $47, you have $94 coming in every day in rewards if the price stayed at $478. But what happens if the price goes to 550, which has been known to happen? Now it's $50 in your account when it goes higher. And if it goes lower, let's say it went to 400, then you'd be around $40. But you always are getting 10% passively. You do not have to take the money out. You can just let it keep rolling, keep escalating, and buy another note. Auntie Val, Victor Moreno has more than two notes. All right, let's give you an idea. And so does Captain J. He also has more than two notes. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, money making Mondays, courtesy of Professor Auntie Val with the strong block tip. Joshua Felder came with the drip tip, along with other people that mentioned it in the past. But Joshua Felder actually made a video showing people how to buy the drip. I dropped that video last week, courtesy of Joshua Felder. The Drip Network has his link. So when you sign up, because not you just can't sign up, you got to buy into Drip. $135 with the BNB. I don't know what the price is now, but the Drip was $135. So you need at least $135 of Drip, and then you earn money passively. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have more business of that because I still haven't even bought into Drip yet myself, but I haven't had time. All right, now. Let's see here. Uh, hopefully that helped you out, Julio Torres, with the strong block. I mean, there's a video that I actually made down below. Search, I mean, not down below, but search the channel for strong block, and that'll show you a little more how to do it because you're going to need MetaMask. You're gonna, you know, it's that. It's not that hard. All right, Eric, that is still great pricing for an Airbnb and investment asset. Exactly, Wilson Koo. If I can get something at 65, 70, 80, good God almighty. And then that means I have a discount property and now I can charge 40, 50 dollars a night and I'm not even going to feel bad. I'm going to be like, holy smokes, and 40, 50 a night is in the wheelhouse of the people that want that cheap, cheap thing. Hey, SSN fam. Come Bay Samuel. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. Thank you so much for being here with the icon next to your name. I appreciate your support after all these months, over a year. Thank you. And he says, hey, SSN fam, been a while getting nice with this new crypto and staking world. That's right, Calm Bay. Now, catching up with all the lives I miss. Boy, oh boy, I missed a lot. Yes, you have, Calm Bay Samuel. We in there. You know how we do this. We keep going. We keep moving. We're not standing still. We keep talking about almost the same type of things because we got to buy asset. We need passive income going forward. You can't just sit idly by, create your own passive income because a pension fund may not be there. Social security may not be there. So if you don't have passive income coming in, you could be in trouble. But SSN Nation members, you're not going to be in trouble because SSN Academy and University is free. All right. Now. Let's see. Look up the strong token on the coin market cap. Connect to the website from there to avoid scam sites. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. Good point there, Auntie Val. 
because scam sites are popping up all over the place. So you want to make sure that you're locked in with strong block. Aha, Polygon taking over. Curtis Davis, we talked about this last year when I was telling you guys, FE, FBTC, you guys know that these guys can only do X amount of transactions per second, plus they're charging these stupid fees. Why use them? I'm very, very happy to see Polygon, Avalanche, on my fandom. I'm very happy to see people are jumping on board, these guys, because when we do transactions and they're saying, oh, that's 32 cents, 16 cents. 75 cents. I was just like, this is how crypto was supposed to be. So I always get giddy when I see people jumping on board. All right. I sold the house and all my coins for PulseX. Hopefully it works out. I don't know what PulseX is, but all right. <laughs> Curtis Davis already didn't did the financials. Mr. Financial says 65 trade property you can pay off in two years and the rest Airbnb cash is profit. <laughs> uh, oh, my. He's already ran some numbers and started realizing, wait a minute, Eric's not even crazy. He's like damn near $50, $60 a night. I, I'm going to have this thing paid off in full in a quick time. You're right. Two years if you just put all your profits towards it. And heaven forbid if something crazy happens where you're actually able to rent more than two weeks during prime time and more than one week or earning more than the same $700 or $600 over a month and things double, that means you're earning 40%, which he's actually right, two years, actually less than two years, one year and, and 10 months, one year and eight months, you would be paying off your condo. That's how crazy this is at these prices, at that low price point. John John 82, welcome back to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live streams. I appreciate you being here. I believe the Solano ecosystem is going to explode. Hell, the Solano ecosystem has exploded already, but they're about to explode. There goes another one, Solana Network. Love that too. I'm not mad at them. Good point there, John John. Auntie Val, thank you very much. We'll do that. Exactly. Thank you for that info. Thank you for asking, Julio Torres. Here's a man exactly saying, you know what? I'm willing to learn some more. If you want to be successful, ladies and gentlemen, he's got it right. SSN Nation members know, always have to learn. Nothing stays the same. I wish everybody had the opportunity to go outside of, the, uh, outside of America for like six months. Six months you leave America and you don't have any american channels that you can watch you come back six months later you're going to be like what the hell what did i miss you're going to find out you missed a lot because in america things move so fast but we're used to it but when you leave and then you come back then you realize how fast it does move it's crazy so that's why you always have to learn you always have to stay up on some things and that's why i love doing the live streams because that gives us an eye. People can mention some things like CFG properties. I've been holding off because XRP up 19%. There we go. ISO 2022, ladies and gentlemen. We told people about this. We told people. Yes, sir, Auntie Val. Okay. So let's go to ATL Fair. Let's go find out what this is about. You're not going to get off the hook. Maybe he's gone, but you're not going to be able to get off the hook around here, my man. Oh, man, I, I don't have it. I don't have it. What was that? ATL Fair. Uh-oh. I, I can't pull it up. See, I went too long without talking about it. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Hide current comment. Why would I? Okay. I see what you're saying. All right. Let's go find this. Where's CFG at? I got to find CFG's website. Anybody want to chime in? in? ATL Fair. God dog it. I don't have it. Where is it? Where is CFG? There we go. ATL Fair Offer. Let's go check this out. What you talking about? He's an investor? Okay, that's not working. That's not working. Um, uh, ATL Fair Offer. CFG, we got issues. We 
got issues. Um, it's not there. We got issues offer dot com. Not there. Is there such a thing as God Atlanta? I don't think so. Huh. There ATL Fair offer. We buy houses. Oh, he's an investor, ladies and gentlemen. Wonder why it didn't come up. That's weird. I put an ATL Fair offer. Huh. That's strange. All right. This looks like this looks like an investor website to me. We buy houses. That's what this looks like. So I guess we get down to you're doing the usual. Somebody's going to call you up and say, hey, man, I got this house. You're going to tell them, hey, we're going to buy your house all cash. Hey, CFG, man. Look, um, since we can't talk, maybe you're still here. Maybe you're still here. We can talk. Let's see if he's here. Yeah, um, it should be ATL Fair Offer. Yeah, I when I Googled it, it didn't come up, which is weird. But when I Googled it, it came up in the information, as you can see. But when I put it in the URL, it didn't come up. So that's strange. Oh, my. Look who's here. Andreen Miller is in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. So happy to see that you're in the house. And whenever I see Andreen Miller, you guys know what I talk about. The SSN Academy, SSN University, the No Guru Zone. And she has her taglines. Hi, Eric and SSN family. Hello to you, Andrew Miller. Very, very happy to see you once again with the icon next to your name. My goodness, thank you so much for your support. So there we go. All right. Yeah, it was working in 2012. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, let me let me check this out again, though, because I want to go do something because your website's acting weird. It's it's available. But when I put in atlfairoffer.com just up in the URL section, let's see if it comes up now. This, okay, it comes up this time. But before, it was blocked. So there might have been a glitch. All right. This looks like a normal investor website to me where you're doing one of them things where you said that we buy homes for cash or we buy homes on the side of the road with the yellow sign. That's what this looks like. Somebody puts in their property address, then you say, hey, I'll buy your house for cash. So either you're going to be flipping it or you're going to buy it yourself and sell it yourself. Um, this is much different. This is much different than some other things that we're talking about. So let's go see. Let's go see what we're talking about here. So you let me know, CFG, because I believe... You entered the chat and said you have properties. Now, I know what you, you're going to have properties, but that also means in my book, I'm thinking in my head, that means flip. Because basically, here's the deal. Let me put it to you another way. And I don't mean to, to give you any, any bad press or anything. I'm not saying this is you, but I want to know if this is you. So, Here's what I'm talking about. Um, we have a house. Dad had a house in the ATL. He would get calls all the time. He didn't, I don't know, maybe he entered into this to find out how much his property value was worth. Next thing you know, people are calling all over the place. I did an estimation on how much his property is, and I said, Dad, your property is worth about 205 to 10. If you actually put it on the market for 205, 210, you'll probably sell it easily. I said, but it's really worth about 220 to 225. He had people calling similar to this saying, we'll buy all cash. We'll do this, that, whatever. But we want to buy it for 135, 140, 145. And so I'm on the phone listening to this when I got into town last year and I was just talking to the guys and I go, look, I'm a real estate guy. 
you guys I already ran the numbers. It should sell for 205, 210, no problem, all day long, just on a because it should really sell if you fixed it up at 240, 225 to 240. If he sold it himself, it's 220, 205, 210. But since he's not going to really fix it up or anything, he's willing to take 185. They were all like, oh, no, we can't do 185. We got we can do 145. We can do 150. All right. No sale. So then what happens? Some guys started being creative. They go, okay, we'll give you 185. Okay. So dad's like, open up escrow, whatever. Oh, no. No, no, no. We'll give you like twenty-five dollars or $30,000 down. And then we want you to carry back. I was like, what? That won't work. So other people came and said, we want to buy it at like 180, 175. My dad gave one guy a chance, 175. The guy put down like a thousand. I think it was, yeah, it was a thousand because he opened up escrow for a thousand. He too was like this and he says 30 days goes by first it was we're going to pay cash in 15 days we already have a buyer then it was 15 days came he put down his thousand already 15 days came he asked my dad for an extension my dad's you know he don't care about the thousand so he goes yes Jared, we'll give you an extension my thing i told my dad i said dad he's just trying to flip it because actually it's worth two five two ten if you actually did something in the house and it could move it up to 225, 240. I said, so he couldn't find the buyer within those 15 days or somebody to take over that contract. Sure enough, 30 days came up and I, he's like, okay, look, you're just holding me up now because other people are calling me and now I'm telling them it's under contract and they can't buy it. 30 days, dad said, done. Dude lost his thousand dollars because my dad, I was like, Dad, you ain't giving him back his thousand, are you? <laughs> I said, It's the principle of the fact. Don't play. So tell me you don't do that, but I can tell by your website. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> yeah, look, that's me. I react. <laughs> He's like, that's me. All right. Right, because that that gets you in a situation. Older homes are all over the ATL. Homes that were built in 1972, 1960s, 1980s. Those homes are all over the place. And those homes in certain areas have kept their values uh, down. But uh, the particular home my dad was selling was on the west side of town. And so outside of the perimeter, so to speak, outside of the highway, in case people don't know what I mean by perimeter. But it was only like a, less than a mile outside the perimeter. Inside the perimeter, they've already reached where the same home with the same square footage with less yard was already at 320 grand. So if my dad would, I told my dad they'll just hold the house for like another year. Because as soon as they cross over to the perimeter, all the homes of his side, but he has a big, he had a third of an acre. All those homes uh would increase up to the upper twos but he was like i'm tired i'm done i'm whatever i was like whatever didn't sell it then so finally somebody came correct somebody actually came correct and said you know what i'm gonna give you 185 cash and that's what the guy did then you know what else he did the guy says okay time for me to get in here and do some rehab and the rehab was going to be around 20 grand. So it was going to end up 205. I don't know when, what, if he put it on the market at just yet, but it's probably did. And he's probably going to have it around 240, 250, 260. So he's going to make himself a quick 40, 50 G's in less than like a year on that one property. Never mind, they're actually uh, doing what CFG Properties does. Um, but let's see. Here's what he's got. Nah. I buy from other investor only. I probably bought from two owners in 10 years. Oh, so he's doing the other side of the fence. That's great. Exactly. Because there's money to be made. Because once you start building it up, then you can do damage. Uh, CFG, here's the question, though. I got a question for you. So 
what's gonna what what would you do what or what do you do if you've been doing this a while what's gonna happen when home prices go down are you still gonna try to buy at a even lower price and then try to resell are you still gonna do that program let me know are you gonna try and buy from investors I mean there are other investors like I said the guy that was trying to buy for like 135 or 140 all they were going to do was control it and then look for people like you and say, hey, man, give me 160, 170 for it. So they make a quick 10 to 30. And then you say, OK, 170 is good because I'm just going to put 25 in and I know I can sell it for 240, 250. So I'm pretty. So there's two ways to go. So you're being the other the middle guy from these other guys. So you're in a I like that position a lot better that you're in because now I have people calling me. I don't have to go searching for properties and I have a website where people can put in property too, but still I have these guys calling me after they're going to look for the deals. So I like that a lot better. All right, here we are. Gary white is in the house. Welcome to the SSN nation money making Monday live stream. And he has the icon next to his name. Thank you so much for being here. Once again, Gary white, very nice to see you. He has his tagline in tow, ladies and gentlemen. You know what it says? Good evening, SSN family. And he says, let's get it. That's what we do here, ladies and gentlemen. We get it. He says, I'm a bit late for class, but I'm present. That's all right. Being late is better than never. And you can always find the replay. So no worries, man. But by the way, Gary White, you did miss something that was very, very valuable. Check this out, Gary White. This won't cover full screen, but it's in the background. Check this out, Gary White. You missed this, my man. Check this out, my man. Oh, yes. One bedroom, one bath, 50 Gs, in Puna Kana, jacuzzi included. I even went over the PDF. After the live stream, the PDF is going to be down below in the description. And they have two bedrooms, but I don't know how much the two bedrooms are because – I can't get that info. <laughs> they won't send it over. I want to know. Man, hold on. Hold on. And the two-bedroom apparently doesn't have a terrace. That's too bad. That would have been freaking sweet. All right. So, actually, oh, yeah, hold on. How much is the one-bedroom with uh, and Hold on. Okay, so we're getting info, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to find out tonight how much the one bedroom with Terrace is. So, one bedroom with Terrace, that might be around 65. I'm expecting 75, 80 for the two bedroom. That's what I'm expecting. Let's see if uh, how close I'm going to be. But that's what you miss, Gary White. That's what you miss, my man. So, that gives you an idea of what's happening in Puna Kana. Um, CFG, we're, we're coming back. So you are an investor. Get my fair cash offer. So uh, no closing costs, no closing commission, more cash in your hand at closing. Fill out short form. All right, this is the way to get leads, ladies and gentlemen. He's doing the right thing. Just like quickeasyfunds.com, just like ATL Fair Offer. If you're in the ATL and you want an offer on your property, you put it in here. And then you'll get your address, which is there. You can figure it out. Pretty simple. Not that hard. All right. He's an investor. He knows what he's buying. He knows where the hot spots are. And that's, again, what you have to study when you're in real estate. But he's going to be diversified. All right. CFG says, I am buying in the metaverse now because prices are up. <laughs> exactly. I can't blame you for that, man. The metaverse is crazy. Julio Torres. Yes, thank you. All right. Good to know. That's crazy. 320K inside perimeter versus 205 outside perimeter. Yep. I-285. Exactly. ATL always growing. North of a perimeter homes going 800. Exactly. The newer section, so to speak. The high-end section, right? Um, that's the differences right there. So if you would have just waited about a year in my estimation... Actually, it's a, it's already been a year, probably. Well, it hasn't been a year, but seven, it's already been. If you had waited just like these eight months, um, 
I haven't. In fact, I'm not going to show you guys the houses. But, um, uh, I can't remember. I can't remember the house. Um, oh, wait. Hey, hey, uh, what was it? It was... Um, uh, uh, let me see. I can't remember where it is. I think it's Atlanta, too. But I'm going to go see right now. I'm going to go look some things up. Zillow. I think I got it. I'm pretty close. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty close. So, oh, that's not that's not it. So I'm, I'm doing something. I can't show you guys in the background, but I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back as we're talking and I'm uh, sitting here on Zillow going through the neighborhood and uh, checking some prices. Holy smokes. The 300s are now in the 400s. Jesus. This is insane. <laughs> this is getting crazy in the ATL. 20% increase in prices is for real. Um, those there's 300,000, 400,000, 600,000, 400 and some, 470, 460, all in the perimeter, not 330s anymore. So, yeah, it looks like wow. All right, so, yep, so in only seven, eight months, it's 250. Which I estimated 240, 250, which would have been the price after you do the rehab. They now have property selling in his neighborhood for 400, 350, 225. So it's a range, it's a mix. 275, all within less than a mile of each other. They have price ranges from 200s, low 200s to upper fours, and even a couple in the fives. So now the outside the perimeter started changing. That's crazy. That's crazy. And only seven months. So 20% appreciation or more, that's what happens. So something that's worth 250, 20% means it's worth 300. So it actually has went up more than that. So it's crazy out here. The supply and demand. So if he would have waited six, seven months later, he could have gotten maybe instead of 185, he could have got two. 25 to 10 maybe so but it is what it is he wasn't going to fix up the property so that's one of the things and there's some other things too which is quite interesting um believe he was even though they're in the city of atl they were still on uh, had a septic system the septic system has been sitting in there for i don't even know 20 years there's a problem with the septic system so the septic system was going to have to come out which was an added expense, and the guy said it was going to be 20 Gs. So it was one of those things where he didn't want to fix it up, and I didn't blame him because it, was, it's, it wasn't worth the fix up. So anyhow, those are the things when you invest in real estate, ladies and gentlemen. All right, CFG Properties, thank you so much for dropping by tonight. Hope to see you again. But, but this is us as a nation. You can't escape without telling us about a deal that we can buy. We have investors in the house here. We have people that want to get into real estate here. Talk to us. Give me a deal or a couple of deals that you got going on. Since you get to buy at a lower price, maybe you can sell at a little bit lower price and gives people also a little bit of equity going in. <laughs> oh no yes that can be expensive yeah exactly wilson Koo, evening at andreen m gary w showing the love yeah things are getting crazy all right cfg you got your shot uh we're two hours in ladies and gentlemen welcome to the ssn nation money making monday live stream and if you like what we're talking about please subscribe to the channel and click the bell down below we're talking about lines of credit stock market, real estate investing, why you should use your lines of credit to buy assets, not crap. Assets pay us. Remember that. All right. Even passively, assets pay us. All right. Keep going. 
All right. I'm buying land NFT. Okay, I understand. We know what the metaverse does. We got people here that's in the metaverse. We understand it's a hot spot. Um, I still haven't bought an upland yet or decentral land, but I was going to buy an upland, but I still haven't. But again, ladies and gentlemen, you guys know why I haven't been proactive in doing what I needed to do. Plus, I opened up my Airbnb a little bit more. And now it's prime time in a few locations. That would be Hawaii. That would be Scottsdale, Arizona. Prime time. And in those areas, let me give you guys got to understand what's happening here. The same thing that I'm telling you guys about Puna Cana area or Dominican Republic, for that matter, is once it's a hot spot and it's high demand from all over the world, you can always charge people crazy stuff. So I'll give you guys an example. There's a place called Paniola Greens in uh, the Big Island, Hawaii, Kona. It's not even oceanfront, but there is a golf course and, of course, amenities, you know, the, 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 the obligatory pool, spa, barbecue grills, tennis courts, you know, the usual amenities. And if you're sitting there somewhat, you could be on the property and see the ocean and the oceans, you know, like five miles away or something. Um, previously, in Waikoloa area, you could, uh, on a Friday and Saturday night, roughly $299. During the week, $220, bucks, 230 bucks. This is for a two-bedroom that's 1,400 square feet. All right? Guess what? This year, $400 a night. A guy wanted to stay nine nights. This isn't. 2020 or before those nine nights cost a guy over three G's. You're listening, right? Over three G's. So this is what happens when you're in prime time and on Hawaiian islands, it's the same as the DR. You have people going there because January, February, March, and April, perfect weather. And when you have a two bedroom, Six people come, families come, they're going to spend $350, $400 a night. That's just the way it is. Now, the resort no longer charges $300 a night. These guys charge $450 to $550 a night. So I undercut them and still make out like a bandit. That's what's going to happen in the DR2. That's what's happened in downtown Miami, for instance. That's why they can build condos for $550,000, make them a one-bedroom because your one-bedroom condo in downtown, you can rent for $500 a night or more. So that's one of those things. All right, Julio Torres says in this economy or any economy, what we all sharing and learning here is of the most importance. Thank you so much, Julio Torres. And thank you for saying that. And thank you for saying the key word, sharing, because a lot of people in the chat room are sharing information. You're sharing information. Everybody's sharing information, which helps out everybody because you guys know the line. Rising tide lifts all boats. We want everybody to be successful because then it makes it easier for us because just like CFG just showed up right here and he would have said, hey, man, I have this investment property that's $200,000. It needs a like $50,000 rehab, but I don't want to do it. And it's going to be worth 375000 after I'm done. Well, we have Wilson Koo in the house where somebody could have said, hey, wait a minute, did we hear right? $375 after value, after rehab value, and I can buy it for two fifty. dollars Wilson Koo, I think I need your help because we're going to do that rehab and do that deal. And Wilson Koo saying, we'll give you the two fifty dollars After it's done, we're going to refi this for you, too. And you get some more cash in your pocket. I'm just saying, this is just an example. So CFG, you see how simple this is. You never know who's in the house here. All right? So, okay, Mikey, 
Um, M Leak 0108, thank you so much for being here in the SSN Nation Money Make It Monday live stream. Let's see what he's talking about. Bought one BTC on Cash App when deposited to 10x trade site. Okay, but I was caught on that. It was scammers before they could get me. Thank God. Can I deposit one BTC wallet on different investment stock site? Um, Weeble, you could. Just so you know, link is down below in the description. Get that five, free $5 of Shiba, Doggy Coin, ADA, whatever, down below from Weeble. You could send over your one BTC, but why would you do that? Investment stock site, but yeah, you could do that. But you also could load up one BTC at Celsius Network and earn like 5%. I know it's not that much, but 5% a year for holding it at Celsius Network or Nexo. Then you can go one step one step further in League 0108. Hear me out. You have your one BTC at Celsius Network. I'll just use it. No, I won't use Celsius Network. There's a reason. I'll do Nexo. The links are down below. So hear me out. So you're like, how can I unlock some of this money, right? So let's just say, yeah, let's just go look. I'm, I'm going to use this as an example. A lot of people might be saying, okay, where are we going with this? Um, come on, what's, what's BTC? Okay, let's just put it this way. There's an American percentage and there's a free world percentage by the way america is not a free world so the free world gets a higher interest rate than americans so where's my where's my bitcoin at what's happening here bitcoin eight percent earn in kind so we get eight percent apr on your bitcoin but you know americans uh, we get 6%. Is that right? Sheesh. Yeah. Americans, we get 6%. You know, the land of the free and all. Um, rest of the world <laughs> gets 8% on their Bitcoin holdings. But that's not the major thing here. Hold on. Wait, M leak 018. There's more. So not only could you earn 8%, there's another thing here. Let's just say, well, we're going to go to the borrow field. Look at this. 0% APR. So let's just say Bitcoin is 45000 You can borrow 20% at 0% interest rate. Maybe up to two years, and guess what your repayment plan is going to be? There isn't one. No origination fees, no credit checks, no monthly repayments. So you can borrow 20%. Sorry, 20% is uh, what? Uh, nine G's. You can borrow nine G's. Use that to invest in an FHA property that's 3% down to get yourself a fourplex. Fourplex, you have to live in for one year on an FHA, and then you have revenues coming in. So I just use that as an example. That's what you can use it for. Now you have your renters paying for your FHA loan and to help do your repayment for the nine Gs. All right. I'm just saying. No credit check, no qualifying, and the money will be in your account in 15 minutes or less. The nine G's. All right. I'm just saying. All right. Let's go. 27 people in the show. So hit that like button. Thank you so much for mentioning that. So that's Nexo. The links for Nexo is down below. If you deposit $400 or more, you get free BTC. Celsius Network, deposit $400 or more, you get free BTC. Using the links down below, that is, and down below the video in the description. That's what we're talking about. 
All right. So, M Leak 0108. Welcome to the SSN Academy, SSN University, where assets pay us. We're not trying to buy liabilities around here. We're not telling anybody to go out here and buy cars. We're not trying to tell you to go buy clothes. We're not trying to tell you to go buy jewelry. We're not trying to go tell you to go buy watches. We're not trying to tell you to go buy sneakers. We're trying to tell you to go buy assets so that way you don't have to store anything. You're making money every month. That's what we're trying to do. So anyhow, the Airbnbs, that's what we have to talk about. This is big time, in my opinion. You're in a hot spot. You have to advertise in a hot spot. Now, there is a cause of concern that has showed up. I don't know if it's true or not. But if it is true, this is going to be interesting. Because I saw a video that popped up in my feed that says... Airbnb, and I just Googled it. So I'm about to show this on the screen. All right. Airbnb is officially opening up its platform to hotels. In partnership with SiteMinder, the jointly developed technology will allow boutique hotels and B&Bs to have a real-time connection, sending room rates between their property management system and Airbnb via SiteMinder's channel management. Now, we welcome listings hosted by professional hospitalities on Airbnb. And so therefore, they have to send in their business license, all that, but they're already licensed. So you know they're going to be approved. That has a little cause of concern for me. A little. But here's the deal. You guys are going to have to start asking yourself. M. Leak says, excellent. Yes, sir. Do I just add the wallet to the new account? Thank you. All right. M. Leak 0108. Unfortunately, with Nexo and Celsius, unfortunately, they are the custodians. Unless they have changed something, they're the custodians. So there's no way that you can have your Trezor or any wallet like MetaMask and then send it over there. They are the custodians, so you would have to send your one BTC to them. It's held at Celsius Network or Nexo. Celsius Network requires 25%, but they don't give 0% interest anymore. So I use Nexo because they give 0% interest only, and you have a no repayment plan. So if you borrow 5000 against your one BTC, then you can pay them back based on if you said two years, then you can just pay five dollars whenever 10 months from now you don't have a repayment plan but at two years you got to pay it back by two years though but now you can be your own bank any monies you borrow you need to buy assets so then you're the bank so those assets pay back your bank so once you fill back up your bank then now you have money coming in where you can add to your bank which means you can borrow more at 0%. Now you're a one percenter. Now you're a top 10 percenter. The guys that can go out here and get these loans for 0.0 or 1% interest only for 10 years, that kind of stuff. Renegotiate your contract. In fact, Nexo and Celsius, you can renegotiate too. Let's just say you picked six months. Six months comes up, you can send in a thing going, hey, I need more time. And they'll say, okay, we need X amount of dollars. It could be like, you know, 500 bucks. But they could say, we need X amount. We'll extend it. Same thing. You entered the top 1%. This is why this is very, very dangerous to conventional banking and lenders because this crypto with Celsius and Nexo doing this, wait, wait till Hector Bank joins the party, okay? When they're doing that, that means you are now your own banker and now you're in the 1% territories, you can do everything they do. And guess what? You can do it a lot better because you're working for yourself. You're not sending your money to some guru who's telling you we're going to give you 5% or 7% on your money per year. And then you're waiting on them to sell the property or waiting on them to sell the whatever the deal is. You're sitting there saying, you know what? I'm pulling all the strings here. It's my money, my stuff. 
You don't get to withhold money from me. You don't get to tell me how much I earn. I'm making money out here, right? That's what you're thinking. You're the bank now. You're the CEO of your life. CEO of my life. The gears at StopStrugglingNow.com in case you're new here. All right? Excellent. Yes. No, so you don't add your wallet. You have to send your one BTC into the Celsius network. They're at, you have an address when you open up an account. I mean, Nexo. So if you want to use Nexo, for instance, the link is down below, but you load it up into your Nexo, Nexio wallet. Then, because they're the custodians, you're using it as collateral. So that's how they're able to give you a loan because um, it's used as collateral and it's in, and they're the custodian. The other part to this, yes, you can borrow 50%, but as you know, BTC was once at 60,000, once at 50,000, just a month or two ago, it dropped all the way down to 30. You would have been liquidated if you would have bought it 60 and it went down under 30, 30 or less, you would have been liquidated. So you would have lost your BTC due to the volatility. This is why. I don't suggest doing, if you're going to do 20%, um, that is, in my opinion, very risky. But I would take out 15% or less to borrow against. That's just me. Because then you have an 85% down. So you won't be liquidated. All right? Just keep that in mind. All right. Here we go. Tiad 330s in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. Very happy to see you once again. And what's up, fam? What's up with you as well? We're all doing good here. We're trying to diversify our portfolios. Lines of credit? Yes. We're going to use that to buy assets. Stock market? Yes. We're going to use that to get some appreciation and dividends and index funds and dividends and real estate investing where we got passive income coming in again diversification ladies and gentlemen so what must you do once you get all these under your control you got to get a trust ladies and gentlemen put these items in a trust so nobody can take them away from you if something happens to you you are i've already designated where this stuff goes and you don't have to go to probate i'm just saying you can also have a living trust where you're the trustee it's just like your own business it operates as a business under its own ein you can have money sent to their bank account which is what's supposed to happen because the trust has to pay for any items that they want to buy but now you're shielded and protected and you're protected in other ways too like lawsuits and things like that so i'm just saying all right m L M leak 0108 says, okay. All right. As long as you understand the lines of what's happening or Hey, M leak 0108. How's about this? The number one investment in 2021. I'm going to show everybody once again, because Julio Torres asked about this and this is courtesy of professor auntie Val. Here is something called strong block. Oh, and by the way, M Leak 0108, this you do keep in your MetaMask because this is node territory. All right. This is node country here. So check this out, M Leak. So you say you have one BTC. Um man, what's happening? I see my uh, Wi-Fi is getting kind of weak here. And why is this not on strong block? We're having problems. Let's go find out. All right. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. I got to go see what's happening here. That should have been on strong block page, but it's not happening like we want. We're sitting here having problems. All right. Let me do some things. Let me uh, get out of here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what we're talking about, please subscribe to the channel. Click the all notification bell. Get your free $10 of BTC down below from Coinbase. The link's down below. I see I can't go to Strongblock. All right, fine. That's fine. Fine. See what happens here. 
All right, let's go with this. So since you have one BTC, how about this? Are you earning any passive income with your one BTC? Nah, not happening unless you have it in some sort of pool or some other place, but it sounds like you have it in your MetaMask. Well, how about this? You could buy 10 of these strong coins, $483 means $4,830. Let's call it 4,000. Let's just call it 4,900 because you can be on the Polygon network now. So you could spend $5,000 of your BTC or borrow $5,000 from your BTC at Nexo, because that's less than the 20%, and come over here, buy 10 coins, and then 48 hours, you'll start noticing, maybe 24, depending on when you buy it, but 48 hours, you'll notice that all of a sudden, if the price is still around $480, all of a sudden, you have $48 in rewards, because they give 10% of the coin price every day. I think at 40, in fact, let me look at the numbers. And in, in fact, let's just keep it. I'll just keep, I'll go conservative because I've never seen the coin price drop below 445, even in this crash or whatever. So I'm going to go down to $40 times 12. I mean, uh, $40 times 30 is $1,200. That's how much rewards you can earn in a month. You can claim your rewards anytime, but there's a fee when you claim. So there's no reason to claim every day. Just wait for a month. You have $1,200. You could claim every month, take out the $1,200, go over, pay back your bank. It'll take you four months as long as they stay around four thirty and up. But nonetheless... You pay back your bank, and not only do you pay back your bank, if this holds up like it's been held up for the last year, you will have passive income coming in. You have paid back what you need to the Nexo guys, and now you just let it ride and you're rolling. Or you be like Victor Marrero and Auntie Val, and you say, well, you know what? I think I'm going to get another node. And then you get two nodes. So instead of earning $40 a day, you're earning 80 a day. 80 a day means 2400 a month or well or search the channel look up the drip network joshua felder dropped a video all right for the drip network joshua felder dropped a video recently they too give like 10 percent a day this man he's doing like three thousand per month in passive income because he invested in drip about a well i think now about a year ago he built it up to where he's holding i believe in his drip account it was like nine thousand i think he showed it that gets him like three thousand dollars per month actually it's more than that passive income so it's around 98 i believe i think it was 98 he might say it but on the video it actually shows 9800 and he's getting $3,000 per month from his drip network. So think about that. Why you have this one BTC earning nothing. That's what we do here. We talk about passive income, solutions, diversifications, different ways to make things work. No credit checks, no qualifying, no barriers to entry. If you got it, you can roll. All right, let's go. Seven streams of dreams and come with the icon next to his name. Thank you so much for being here on the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream with the support with the icon. And he says, good evening, fam. Good evening to you. Thank you so much for being here once again. Appreciate the support as well. Curtis Davis, yes, becoming your own bank with Celsius or Nexo. Exactly. All right. Exactly, M. Leak. I'm taking it like I'm saying it. All right now. That's what I'm saying. I get excited like this. Celsius lets you borrow up to 50%, 10,000. But like Eric said, only borrow 15% since crypto price can be volatile. Drop 20% in a month. Exactly. You don't want to be liquidated. That's not the idea. You want to make sure you have that sitting there, but you use a little bit of it 
a little bit can do it. And in your case, if you have one BTC, that's like $47,000, I believe, right now. So you're going to borrow like 12%, 13%. That's not risky. 5000 for strong block could enter into $1,200 a month or more. Actually, it's more than that because I went to $40 when, in fact, it could be $50, $50 a day if it goes up to 500 again. So it could actually fluctuate between twelve hundred and fifteen hundred a month easily, which it does actually. So that's the thing. Every month you pay yourself back, and you're on the passive income as long as strong blocks are around. You're rolling. All right. There's another one too, but I won't inundate you with a lot of different things, because Joshua Felder's the one responsible for talking about um, power nodes. They work the same way, but their nodes are a lot lower priced right now. So you're not going to earn, even though you can earn, well, quite frankly, you, you can do by 50 nodes at, uh, I don't know what they are. 50 nodes is 500. What is that? What am I saying? 50 coins is their, uh, well, they changed it, nuclear <laughs> package. And that earns 70% of their coin price. 70% of their coin price is like $10. And you do that times 50, you start getting crazy. But you need 10, I mean, $10 times five. So it ends up being $50 per day. All right. I'm just saying there's ways to do this. Curtis Davis, I'm glad I joined tonight. This is very helpful. Thank you so much, M League 0108. That is it. SSN Academy, SSN University is in full effect. And come back on Wednesday night as well. But here's the deal on Wednesday night. You know, the only ones that can be in the house, be in the chat room are people with the icon next to the name. That's the only people that can be in the chat room on Wednesday night. But on Monday and Friday, the chat room is open to everybody. And also members of the channel with the icon can always join me on the screen live if they prefer and talk about anything they want to talk about. Not a problem. All right. Joshua Felder, Curtis Davis, M. Leak. Glad you were here. That's right. Showing the love. Welcome, M. Leak. 0108. Yep. I make around $100 a day in drip. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I... I knew it was 3000 In fact, like I said, it's like 3100 overall. And there's ways for him to actually make more money. And actually, he's going to make more money because when people see the video and they sign up under his drip network, from what I understand, there's some sort of team thing. I don't know if you get bonuses, but I would think you get some sort of bonus. Otherwise, why would they give you a link for a, to have a team thing? So that'd be kind of cool. All right. Oh, man, I love your fire. Thank you so much. I am going to keep plugged in with your pages. I appreciate that, M League 0108. And if you ever have any questions, all you have to do is ask. We have so many skilled, successful, smart, brilliant people here in the chat room that you're going to get an answer that or answer that you may not be expecting. All right. And by the way, where is Marrero at? He might have had to already get off. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, it is almost 11. I forgot. I'm in the East Coast right now. But anyhow, um, Victor Marrero, I'm going to find out about that stuff at Sunset Walk. I called up the number. It went to voicemail today. But we're going to find out. We can't let that slide. We got something in Orlando that's pretty hot, potentially. Doggone it. I didn't realize it was this late. I was thinking I was on Pacific time. So that explains why the person didn't answer me about the doggone how much these properties were for the two bedrooms. Victor Marrero says, I am here. Hey, Marrero, did you ever uh, find out about Embassy Suites? Are we talking about no barriers to entry for these, like in downtown Miami? Or are we talking about qualifications or do you know what the down payments are? Or do you know anything like that? Because um, you sent me over the prices. I got that. But the prices aren't cheap. But they're not cheap for a reason. Sharing amenities with Margaritaville is huge. Because Embassy Suites always has that. What I liked about Embassy Suites is they always had uh, Wi-Fi, computers, they always had like a little snack bar and stuff like that. I don't know if they still do that, but that's what I used to like about Embassy Suites. They used to have like these little amenity things. Like I like the snacks and the drinks and the computer access with the Wi-Fi and easy check-in, easy out. I, that's what I always liked. And it seems like Embassy Suites went by the wayside or they sold a lot of their properties. I don't know. But this condo hotel concept, I love that even better. 
and partnering, so to speak, kind of with Margaritaville amenities. Woo! Fire. Fire. I can tell. <laughs> right on, man. Right on, Emily. Glad you're here. Joshua Further, yeah, I will be doing airdrops as we'll build in drip. My goal is to do 10 can airdrops per month. Jesus. We will get to that level in a few months or sooner. All right. I don't know what he's talking about, about these airdrops with drip, but I don't know where the airdrop money's coming from or nothing, but I'm going to have to find out. We got to get, I got to delve into this drip a little bit more. So I guess I should be watching some more videos, ladies and gentlemen. Two hours, 30 minutes in. Please subscribe to the channel or click the all notification bell because we're using lines of credit. And by the way, if you want to build your credit, how about this? Buy assets, buy stocks, buy real estate, buy crypto. Because why? You automatically have a line of credit. Those are assets. You can borrow against those assets. That's right. You can, If you have stocks, they call it margin, but you can borrow against your stocks, you know. And the same rules apply. Do not try to do 70%. Well, they won't allow you to anyhow. But all I'm trying to say is don't do anything crazy. 30%, 20%, that would be about, you know, the most you should ever do. That's about the most some places will let you do. But the point is the money's dropped in your account. No credit check, no qualifying because you're using your account as collateral. Real estate, asset, because it appreciates. Property values go up. You get to borrow against your asset. All right. Crypto. Just what we illustrated with M. Leak. He has crypto. He can borrow against the asset. Use it as collateral. You're your own bank. This is what you should be concentrating on from 2022. Getting that passive income, using the borrowed money to get another asset that's going to give you passive income. And no, we can't win them all, ladies and gentlemen. All you can do is do your due diligence. Check things out. And then if you feel comfortable with it, then make your move. This is not something for the faint at heart because any investor can lose. In fact, all investors lose. But you know what the thing is about an investor? They keep investing because they're trying to find the next best deal. And that is the whole key. What they don't talk about is I lost. But here's the thing they do talk about when they lost. They said that was a learning experience. That helped me move to another deal or another mindset or another way of doing something. It helps you down the road. But you still got to research whatever you invest in. All right? So keep that in mind here, ladies and gentlemen. We keep it real here. We got to tell you like it is. This isn't for the faint at heart. You can't win it all the time. Even though on social media and all this, people act like they win and do investments and win all the time, but nobody does. I don't even care about if you're a shark tank, a billionaire, a multimillionaire. They lose too, ladies and gentlemen. So they just don't make it public. You just have to find out because it goes by the wayside. And what do they do? They say, next up, who's coming into the shark tank? We're going to try and make some money on this investment. All right. You got to have the same mindset if you want to be a one percent or top 10 percenter. You can't be scared out here. Or you can just find yourself, you know. Not being able to join Mr. Worldwide, wherever you want to go, any place, any time. I'm not mad at you. All right. And I'm not mad at you working 50 years for somebody else or 40 years for somebody else or 30 years from somebody else. Entrepreneurship and investing is not for everybody. That place is hot. Bookings keep rolling. I am worrying about wear and tear now. <laughs> Not only bookings, but price appreciation. I think it is 20% down and the rest you can finance. Oh, so okay. So they're using it. Not, it's not pre-construction. They're using more like an investment property. So that's uh, oh, that's Wilson Coup territory. So 20, 25% down. That's normal. So that means $100,000 because these properties are 400 Gs. I think there was some in the 300s, but that means you got to have seventy-five dollars to $100,000 to get down, which also means that's an investment. So that's very interesting. Instead of treating it like a residential, they're just straight up treating it like an investment property, which is what it is. So that's why the 20, 25% down. All right. Nothing wrong with that, except um, 
I'm not going to do it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. The reason why, uh, look at this. Why put down 100000 Even though, look, ladies and gentlemen, Victor Marrero has what I think he told us, 83% occupancy rate. He's damn near booked like 21 to 25 days out of the month, but he owns it Margaritaville, which actually has cachet. That's luxury. That's around the world. That's worldwide. They have a brand, luxury. So people come there and stay there. And he's right about the uh, deterioration. Um, he's renting so often that he runs into the problems that like a, a hotel would have is that not everybody treats your furniture like it's their own or treat your walls and, and <laughs> your countertops and flooring like they live there. They treat it like it's their romper room. And the more people you have that come through, you could have out of the 83% occupancy, I'll use that type of number, he could have 79% of the people treating it like their home. Those little five days during the month, three days during the month that he rents to those that person that doesn't give a damn, spills stuff on the couch, you know, trying to have, I don't know, had a hammer on the tile for some reason, cracks the tile, which, you know, could happen. The guy that, you know, all of a sudden that guy is going to cost me some money in the long run because now I got to repair. Now I can't got people coming and I'm like, damn, I got to do something about this eventually. So it starts adding up plus cushions wear out plus beds wear out. All this stuff wears out, and especially if you have four, five, six different families staying in your location every month. So this is why he has the he, he actually has the best of both worlds. He has a high end property, high rental average. But the downfall, which is not a downfall, he's saying he's joking that it's a downfall because it really is a joke. Because the bottom line of the story is the furniture and things like that, tax guys, because we can actually write it off and get depreciation for it and reduce our taxes because there's a depreciating asset, meaning our sofa, our chair, our beds. We bought them and get a write off. But now, I believe I still get to get depreciation based on my refrigerators, my washer dryers, dishwasher. These guys are wearing my stuff out. There we go, Marrero. But he's that's why he's joking about it. He has so much high occupancy rate that he does have to actually buy new furniture, but it's a write-off because it's a business. And he's going to get to depreciate some stuff, too. So it's that's why you get in business, ladies and gentlemen. It's beautiful. Seven Streams of Dreams of Income says he's just telling the truth. Like I told my friends, if you can't wait a year under me and drip, it's OK. But in one year, I will be giving out about 10,000 per month and trip token. Also, sharing is caring. Exactly. Seven Streams of Dreams of Income. All right. So you're also in the drip banner. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. I love to hear this. This is passive income, ladies and gentlemen. Diversify Joshua Felder. I got my first deposit. Yeah, Binance US won't clear for 10 days. Damn, Friday. We were talking about this like last week. Are you able to see new members under your team? Uh, we'll find out. I haven't even signed up yet, quite frankly. Yeah, I'm in air dropping 10,000 worth of drip per month to feed my team so they can build up faster wow damn joshua felder joshua felder out here making sure people are rising i love that man i love that that's what i like to hear actually you making things happen and then you're saying i'm going to show some love i love it victor morell congrats on the first deposit and yes i can see the team building we will have a great 2022 and drip okay i'm gonna have to find out more about this team situation because this might be something I can adapt into some other platforms. Seven Streams of Dreams Income. Yes, in one year, people under me will get airdrop free drip from me. My friend gave me on drip or more a month. Got 14 drip now. All right. I don't really know what you guys are referring to about the 14 drip. So 
All I remember from Joshua Felder's video was $135, but I thought that was BNB, which I, I don't know BNB's pricing. So what is the drip price if it's not the 135? Well, at the time it was 135. I don't even know. Hold on. Let's just do this. It's live. Why don't we just go look? Let's see what this is. Drip crypto price. So let me see what this is. Oh, okay. So it was the drip price. 133 was not BNB price. That 135 was the drip price. Okay. All right. I get you. I like it. Uh oh. Look at this. I've been booked 95 to 100 percent at Margaritaville. Oh my God. He's doing back to backs. It's literally someone checking out 10 a.m. and another person checking in at 3 p.m. same day. Crazy. If I want to use my own house, I have to book my <laughs> Oh, man, that is a serious problem to have. I love it, though, Marrero, man, because uh, you told us 83 percent last time. So was that 83 percent for the month of January? But, yeah, you told us you were booked up like six months in, in uh, last year. So I figured this is prime time about now. So you should be 95 to 100. Ladies and gentlemen, 95 days out of a out of 30 days. That's like 20. That's 27, 28 days. That's crazy. So a lot of people here, we talk about real estate investing. So tonight I gave you that fifty thousand dollar one bedroom, one bath townhouse with a free jacuzzi, which, OK, jacuzzi could be five grand. Whatever. But nonetheless, free jacuzzi included. Now, remember how I was saying before, Marrero knows this very well. Marrero is, is buys what you would call, there's a class A, B, and C, let's call it. Class A being the best, class B being the next best, class C being okay, mid-level. Then there's a class D, which is, you know, you don't want to live there normally. Um, Marrero's on the other end of the investor uh, strategy. He has bought in high end, like Margarita, high end location. The reason why you buy at the high end is the same reason I'm telling you guys about Puna Kana and the properties you buy there is because people who have money, they are going to come and they will spend the price of the property. So Marrero's property is not $200 a night, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think his Margarita property is $200 a night because. To stay at Margaritaville is all inclusive. They charge more than that per person. So I, I don't know what he charges there. Maybe he'll tell us. Maybe he'll keep it to himself. But the point I'm trying to make is he has a luxury property that is being rented at 95 to 100 percent. Can't keep it empty. But people are paying more because of the amenities at the location. And in, in Dominican Republic, he bought what would be considered upscale at Connor Rock. And it's on the beach because it's at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. So in theory, the same rules are going to apply. He has a two bedroom there. He'll be able to charge. We don't know for a fact yet because this is unknown chartered territory. But from my rental experience, he's going to be able to charge more than me on my two bedroom um, penthouse probably because he's in a more, well, as we know right now, he's in a more upscale location. Now, if Vista Cana ends up being an upscale location to match them, then me and him will be able to charge almost the same amount. So it'll be very, very interesting how this all plays out. But the, the beach has ended up being luxury place. So now that 126 two bedroom that's now selling for 155. Now, if you have a penthouse there, well, the penthouse never sold, but you could have bought the penthouse for 198 when I first went over there. That penthouse is now selling for like 300 or 280 or something crazy. So the penthouse is going to be highly valuable because it has more square footage. So this is what we're talking about when we say you buy based on amenities 
and what the property is going to be. And that's why earlier when that $50,000 property came, we can't call that class A. We're not going to be able to charge people, whether I have a one bedroom or two bedroom. I highly doubt I'm going to be able to charge $300 a night or $250 or $200 a night. I doubt it. But because the price is lower, I do, now it fits right into a different segment of the population where somebody's trying to go to the island and they go, $60 a night for a two bedroom? Love it. But if the two bedroom does cost 70 grand or 80 grand, I can charge that. Right? That's all I'm saying. Just think about that, ladies and gentlemen, because that's very, very powerful. Looks like the Russians are in the house. I thank you so much. I always need some of that love, international love, because as everybody knows, YouTube says we don't have international followers. All right, Victor M., that is a great problem to have. You ain't lying. 95 to 100% is awesome. All right, M. Leak, what do you think about Gemini trade? It show $50 free Bitcoin. I don't care about Gemini. I'm just messing with you, man. Uh, Gemini's fine, but it's just a normal like exchange. It's nothing major. Free $50 Bitcoin. Yeah, exactly. Celsius Network and Nexo gives you free Bitcoin. But you already have Bitcoin. You don't need free $50. What you need is, like I said, you need to earn rewards every day. Because I think you said one Bitcoin. I don't think you put in 0.1. I think you put 1.018 or something like that. Yeah, so you need to make earn rewards on your Bitcoin, man. Even though Gemini is going to give you, I think they have 5 or 6% on the Bitcoin as well. But I don't think you can borrow at 0%. I'm just saying. I could use Joshua's help. Can we connect M Leak 0108? Yes, you can. Here's how you connect with Joshua. You got to send me a message at support at stopstrugglingnow.com support at stopstrugglingnow.com i will send you joshua felder's email address or i'll send joshua felder your email address and he'll send you an email all right so that's how you can get in touch with him or well if you want to find out about that drip network he dropped a video on how to join drip and i loaded the video on this channel so just search the channel for the drip network and that video will come up. So hopefully I'll help you out as well. Joshua F., that is great what you do for your team. We'll connect with you once I have some time. Exactly. Exactly. We, <laughs> exactly. Seven Streams of Dreams Income says what we do for our teams. All right. I like that. Victor Morell, the price of my two-bedroom, two-bed cottage is now. Oh, my God. Prices there are out of control. And people are still buying at these prices. I think Morero bought at half that price, right? The six or more bedroom cottages are now 1.2 to 2.5. Oh, my God. Oh, looks like I blew it, Morero. I blew it. I blew it, ladies and gentlemen. I knew about Margaritaville that was going to be built. And I was like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Seven, same thing that happened at Aqualina when, where uh, Grant Cardone lives. He actually, he lives in Aqualina 3 that I call it. They call it, a, I don't know what they really call it. But if you're uh, off of, uh, in, in Sunny Isles, if you're on Collins and you're facing Aqualina, the very first one is where the driveway goes up and around. That's Aqualina 1. And they made an Aqualina 2. And then they built the estates. I think it was called Aqualina Estates. And... I could have put down 50K pre-construction. And because I didn't, I was like, Miami, I don't want to live down here and, and on the water. I don't care about all that. And then when they told me that like HOA was like, I think two G's a month, I was saying, man, that's very nice. But here's the thing. That property I could have bought for like 500,000 or something. That stuff is worth like two, three million right now. It's crazy 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 how things happen and so once again i missed out on the uh, margaritaville too because i was like ah, i don't want nothing in orlando <laughs> i was like that's i don't want nothing over there all right i meant to type i got 14 drip now and my friend gives me free drip once or twice a month and in the future it will be more so when your guys are talking about this drip are you talking about like one drip but 14 drip would be 14 times 133, right? So that'd be like 1500 bucks. Well, actually, it's more than that, but all I'm saying is 1500 bucks. So that's pretty cool. 
Wilson Koo, yes, sir. It is incentive to keep the team playing the game. They can either withdraw the split rewards or recompound the rewards. Beautiful. Oh, here we go. The nightly rate depends on the season, typically around 350 to 600 per night. For 200, I'll let you use the bathroom. <laughs> there we go, ladies and gentlemen. And he's giving you the full rundown. Here we got an investor in the house. Look at this. Yep, he's right. They were only 250 grand back when they built it. For Margaritaville College, remember, I put in 1K deposit in 2016 when it was all dirt. Exactly. Um, and it was in a place that was, in 2016, it wasn't like it was built up. It was just like, okay, we're going to have this over here, sunset. We're going to do this. And it was like, ah, I don't care about that. But as it turns out, now look, the place is worth 600. In fact, Victor Marrero is sitting pretty sweet. Because he's doing, he's done exactly what you should be doing. A perfect example. He spent 254. He put down his 1K pre-construction. It's done. He's got a 90% occupancy rate. People are paying for it if he has a mortgage. I don't know, but if they're paying for his mortgage and he has profit left over and the appreciation of the property went up. So when I made that video, how you invest one hundred thousand dollars and turn it into a million. This is a perfect example because now 254, he has $350,000 equity, let's say. I'm pretty sure he does. So he can turn around and just simply say, hey, can you give me 120 grand? He can now go anywhere else on the planet almost and say, you know what? I want to go for this again. I'm going to go buy another. Like he could go down right now and get the, um, the uh, embassy suites. He could join in that if he wanted to. And it's on the same property. He has history. He can sit there and get into one of those. And take out 100, 150 Gs and take that, put it in there. Or he can just go buy another property outright. And have rental income coming in, compounding that. Or he can take some money out and go, hey, you know what? I think I want to get another two strong block nodes <laughs> i don't know he has options is what you want ladies and gentlemen the older you get the more options you want all right the price went up i bet when grant cardone bought a space <laughs> no nah, man it didn't go up because of him no um aqualina is uh here i'll show you guys some i think it's aqualina estates but um it's him i call it number three though because i was there when it was just a um when they first built their first like five levels and it was in pre-construction. But my friend lives in uh, Tower One. Aqualina Resort and Spa. That's what it is. All right. So. OK, so this is Aqualina, what I call Aqualina One. OK. So, see, they're calling it resort and residences, which is good. I don't know if it was ever called that. But, okay, look, this is another perfect example. When we come to real estate, check this out. So, this is this is luxury, all right? So, the driveway that I'm talking about, you roll up, you get out. So, it has a, it has a, it has a restaurant. It has valet parking, as in. Most places do around there. Look at this. And it's on the beach. It's beautiful, right? It's beautiful. Um, now, I'm going to show you guys this. So let's just go. Well, I'll go. Well, yeah, there's probably going to be availability. Check this out. This is luxury. What's going on here? Well, let me. Oh, there we go. 12. Is that 12? Oh, no. What's happening? All right. Hold on. We got to get a departure date here, don't we? 5th of March. I need 12. Let's go. Come on. Let's go four adults. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to tell you guys something else. These places are roughly like 2,000 square feet, 2,300 in Ocalina 1. Well, there's bigger places too. They're like 4,000 too, but my friends is like 25, 2,600 square feet something like that i'm going to show you the the, the rental price if uh, if they have availability let's go see 
so you guys will get an idea. Check this out. Check this out. All right. What can you now? The, now you're going to find out why I say you always want to have luxury places with amenities. You want to have an upscale with amenities. Look at this. But I, this is does this blow you away? You guys see this? You see this? 4000 per night. Does not include taxes and fees. <laughs> this is a one bedroom. See the one bedroom is 1660 square feet. That's huge. And they have ocean view. I think I don't know if everybody does, but look at the three bedroom. Seven thousand dollars per night this is where my friend's unit is 2300 square feet floors 31 through 35 seven thousand per night that's aqualina one that i call it now you're asking me about grant cardone he's at aqualina i call it two but i think it's called estates if i'm not mistaken uh, I think this is it. Aqualina Mansions, I think, too. They have, okay, here we go. Hold on, hold on. I got a few spots here. It's not the mansions then. Or is it? Hold on. I think it's the estates when I was there back in the day. So let me see if it's estates. I'm not sure. It might be the mansions, but let's see. I think it's estates. I think it is. Yeah. This is it, the estates. This is where Cardone lives, right here, I think. All right, so this is what I call Aqualina 2, but this is badass. So here, I don't think, well, where's the rental for this? I don't think they have the rental. Lobbies by Carl Lagerfeld. Okay, that's cute. Yeah, they don't have the, they don't have a rental for that. At least I didn't pick the right, well, no, that's estates at Aqualina. Anyhow. I don't want to get too off into it, but that's that's the spot. Could have bought this for under a million dollars back in the day. These are worth three, five, ten, twelve million dollars. Crazy at the other one. And actually, my friends is worth about three to four mil. Um, yeah, crazy prices, right? But the place is a badass, though. You're on the water, ocean view. Every, I think every unit down there has ocean view because the way they lined it up is pretty sweet. But no, Aqualina. Um, okay. I got to give you guys a story about Aqualina. This is funny as hell. So um, when Aqualina 1 was built, the parking garage, even though you saw the guy riding up in the Bentley, and uh, when we were there, yeah, guys had the, the 250, $500,000, $800,000 vehicles are all right there. That's what people own. So get this, you park underneath an Aqualina 1. And I don't know where you park on the others. But Aqualina 1, you park. There was a storm. One of the hurricanes or something like that happened. They didn't even think about the runoff of the water it flooded the garage millions of dollars worth of vehicles wiped out unbelievable in that project i was just like blown away i was like how do you build multi-million dollar properties and you don't think about water in miami going in your garage i was like how did that work so anyhow flooded Million dollars, multi millions of dollars worth of cars. Crazy. Crazy. So that's the story that cracks me up about Aqualina in itself. But yeah, everybody there is like uh, top one percenter. Everybody that lives there is a one percenter. And I could have been, I could have bought one and I'm a dumbass. Well, can't win them all. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Can't win them all. My friend was like begging. Hey, you got to come over here. You should stay here. I'm like, man, I don't want to stay in Florida. You guys got hurricanes. And sure enough, like a year later, they get flooded out. And then I was like, damn, I'm glad I didn't move there. But now I'm like, wait a minute. I could have bought at the Aquilina Estates and only put down like 50 Gs or something at the time. And they were like, 
actually I might be, it was 50 G's. Then it was like 250 in, I can't remember. I think it was six or seven months or something later. Cause this was like pre-construction, some things. And I think, like I said, I think it was only like five or 600 K something like that it was something crazy. But at the time I wasn't thinking nothing about Florida. Didn't hang out in Florida. Didn't do anything in Florida. Now I'm like, damn, I should have done that. Or Margaritaville for that matter. One of them, any one of those that would have been cool. Can't win them all. So now DR easy. So I'm expecting the same kind of things to happen there, even though it's not ocean front, even though it's not Orlando, but they're trying to make Orlando. And speaking of that three hours in, ladies and gentlemen, almost trying to approach in record, please smash the like button. And if you like, we're talking about what we're talking about, please subscribe to the channel. Speaking of, speaking of, uh, Dominican Republic, which you guys know I'm highly bullish on. I think I have a Katmandu video. So a lot of people don't know that they're trying to make it like Orlando of the Caribbean. So I'm going to go look and see if I actually, I think I do have a Katmandu video. I'm going to play that real quick here. The new theme park coming. So check this out. Rising up from the shores of the Caribbean emerges a destination unlike any other. Set to open in spring of 2021, Kathmandu Punta Cana will simply be the most fun imaginable. Here, visitors will discover an entertainment, dining and shopping destination erupting with vibrant colors, lively music and incredible diversions. From the second you step inside Kathmandu Punta Cana, you'll know you've discovered an amazing place filled with wonder, myth and adventure. In the Mythica Quest, you'll wander through unexpected worlds filled bottom to top with a myriad of wondrous and unexpected experiences. Climb aboard Odyssey to Catopia, the world's first suspended theater attraction, where you'll take a thrilling voyage to an underwater metropolis in peril. Then, in Legend of the Desirata, Embark on a remarkable journey through time in our state-of-the-art 4D dark ride attraction. A collection of additional world-class attractions steeped in magnificently original Kathmandu stories await. You'll also experience themed dining, a host of nighttime entertainment spots and shopping options to complete a full day of wonder, thrills and unforgettable memories. Kathmandu Punta Cana will welcome visitors from all over the world to explore an unbelievable entertainment spectacle where the party never stops. Well, if you're new here, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're talking about. That $50,000 one bedroom, that's in Punta Cana. And by the way, that gave me a chance to load up some other things. So let me see here if I can do this right. But it looks like I'm going to be blocking my face because these aren't wide enough. But I want to show you guys. Here's what else is there. I should have said the amenities. Adult pool. Kids pool. Private jacuzzis because everybody gets a free jacuzzi. At their place. Snack bar. Okay, that's some of the social area stuff you got. So one pool, nothing major, but a snack bar is kind of cool. All right. How about this? You guys want to know about where it is located? It's called Niagara. Ladies and gentlemen, right here is Puna Cana. I mean, Vista Cana. Primavera. If they're here. Downtown is over here on the right-hand side. So you're in the vicinity of downtown, but it's not gated. And remember, I was giving you guys the prices. This is where I was getting it from. 50000 for the junior. I'm guessing that's a junior one bedroom is what that means. 3000 to reserve on contract. You got to give them another 4500 So it's $7,500 down. During construction, you're going to pay 35% over 28 months. 
this right here equates to 625 a month on delivery you owe 50 percent may 2024 and 50 percent wilson Koo, if you're still here let me know what the requirement is when a person has put down 50 percent and the property is worth fifty thousand so we'll say they owe 25 grand so actually they left out the k there so that's the 50 percent. i couldn't figure out why it said 25 dollars. that's 25 k so you're going to owe 25 k the property appraised for 50 can we even get a loan for 25 k that's the question i don't know if you can but maybe wilson ku knows he's mr international with the funding all right Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap this up. Let me know what you think. All right. And if you have any other comments, put them down below. Let me know what you're talking about. If you have any questions, put it in the chat. Let me know. All right. That Kathmandu Park will be a tremendous hit. I see it coming, especially as it caters to entire family fun. Exactly. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, even though I'm talking about the one bedroom for 50000 but I got to give you some advice. Do not buy the one bedroom to uh, unless you really want to. But my advice is the one bedroom by itself, the one I'm talking about with 40 square meters. You can only sleep like four people. Kathmandu Park that Victor Morrell is talking about is for families. So therefore, you can't sleep a family normally in a one bedroom. Because it's it just doesn't fit. There's only one bathroom, one bedroom. And if you had six people. Where's the other five? What's the other five going to do? I mean, when the rest, when you get up in the morning, got to take showers, it doesn't work. Can't hold six. You still have problems with holding four because the other two people would be on a sofa sleeper and you don't have a half bath or another bathroom. So therefore, they got to come in your bedroom to use the bathroom and take a shower, too. So for every time somebody's got to use the bathroom, they got to come inside your room. This is why I do not suggest you do a one bedroom. Unless you understand that either you have a half bath somewhere or you understand you're going to be limited with how many uh, rentals you'll get. All right. Now, if you have a two bedroom, even at this cheap location, at least, you know, you can sleep six people. That's also why the one bedroom that had the terrace, if they allow you to put a bedroom up there and turn that into a two bedroom. That creates more value because you'll be able to sleep six people. You have a free jacuzzi, which people like those. So uh, they call them jacuzzi. So we got to put it in perspective. Some They don't heat them. Th that's the thing. I don't know if these are true jacuzzis. That's what I have to ask. Find out because I call a jacuzzi hot water. I don't call what they say are jacuzzis in Puna, Kana, or Dominican Republic where they just have cold water in there and jets. That's not a jacuzzi to me. All right. So there you have it. And Auntie Val says heart and fire for that one. Heart and strength for the cat man do. And again, if you just came in late, like Aunt Professor Auntie Val, $50,000 for a one bedroom townhouse. Can you believe this? And it's in that place, that area that I'm talking about, which means you're going to be less than five minutes from downtown. Even though it's not insecure, it's not in a gated environment or anything like that. So you're almost in like a condo that you would find in a, some regular street but if somebody tells me eric a two-bedroom 75 grand that's crazy in fact it's so crazy that that's my simon residences was eighty two thousand dollars you can't get any lower so if they're lower than 80 grand that's going to be impressive highly impressive and don't let them have a two-bedroom i'm still looking for that two-bedroom with the with the terrace but they don't have it all right, Seven Dreams of Dreams Income, excellent content. Thank you. Thank you so much, Seven Dreams of Dreams Income, helping with the content because the Drip Network is becoming more and more prevalent. We got to get on the teams with this, ladies and gentlemen. All right, with all that said, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here. And that's why you got to do everything you can to diversify and get 
things set up so you receive passive income. That will be your key. That's your ticket. That's your ticket to financial freedom, your freedom papers. That's where you want to go, ladies and gentlemen. If it takes you five years, so what? If it takes you 10 years, so what? But I'm going to tell you something. You don't want to be 70 years old and then going, man, I wish I would have had that passive income because I wish I could go do whatever I wanted to do. No, you want to do it the sooner, the better. You want to be the younger, the better that you go all over wherever you want to go, do whatever you want to do while your health is good, while your muscles are strong, while there's no issues. That's when you want to go now. So therefore, get the passive income, ladies and gentlemen. Last year, as we were talking about assets, get your assets, which leads to the passive income. This year, straight out, passive income is going to be needed because of inflation, because of interest rates are going to get higher, which is in turn going to trigger some other things, such as real estate going down, which we're going to like. You have the passive income coming in. Now you can buy some real estate when it goes down 30, 40, potentially 50%. And now you get to pick up properties that are worth a hell of a lot more that are on sale. And yes, they're going to recover. We just don't know if it's going to recover in two years, three years, five years. But if you pick some real estate that goes down 50% and you turn it into passive income coming in, not that you're going to live in, you get to win because you're going to buy at a lower price. So therefore, your rent doesn't have to be $2,000, $3,000 a month because you bought this thing at 700 grand or 600 grand. You understand what I'm saying? So with all that said, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.